Ah, oh, summertime and the living of Smurfy. Hey, baby Smurf. <laughs> I hate summertime. <sighs> Let the rain dance begin. Raindrops fall on this spot. Keep us cool so we won't be hot. Raindrops fall on this spot. Oh, gosh, Brainy. I'm hotter than ever now. Ugh. Raindrops fall on this spot. Keep us cool so we won't be hot. Oh, there, I'm almost finished. Now, if my new icy air smurfer works, we'll be able to keep our houses cool all summer. Come in. Hi, Handy. Ready for a Smurfberry and cream break? Oh, I sure am, Greedy. Just as soon as I finish my new ice what? hair. Sorry, Handy. Oh, that's all right. Hey, what's happening to my ice? And what's happening to my Smurfberries and cream? Hmm, it smells Smurfy. Mmm, oh, it tastes Smurfy, too. Mmm, it sure does. Like nothing I've ever Smurfed before. Mmm. What do we call it? How about Smurfberry cream? Mmm. Mm. No, it tastes more like Smurfberry ice. No, no, it tastes more like cream ice. Cream ice. Cream ice. I know. How about ice cream? Mmm. Nah. Let's call it Smurf cream. That has a much Smurfier ring to it. You're right. Smurf cream it is, partner. Some like it hot, Azriel, but not me. I like it cold. Nothing like a bucket of icicles to keep a house cool. <laughs> There's enough snow up here to make loads of Smurf cream, eh, partner? Enough to last me till tomorrow, anyway, partner. <laughs> Azriel, the thing that I hate most about summer is knowing those putrid little Smurfs are prancing around having fun in the sun. Yuck! Just the thought of them running around in their cute little bathing suits makes me hot under the collar. <gasps> Azriel! <laughs> so, they gave you the old snow job, eh, Azriel? Well, just leave the little blue busybodies to me. <laughs> if we can just make it to the other side of this... <gasps> oh, no! There's no place left to run! Don't feel bad, my friends. I'll always have a warm little place for you. In my stew pot. <laughs> Come to Gargamel, you little blue beasts. <gasps> Great Smurf and sugar cookies! It's our old friend, the Snow Beast! Yeah, and of course, any friend of theirs is a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Time, Smurfette. Yeah! Gargamel sure knows how to cool off, eh, baby? <laughs> oh, you think it's funny, do you? Well, I wish an even bigger snowball would land right on top of your village. I wished it. Wait a minute. This is one wish I can make come true. We'll see who has the last laugh, my little bathing beauties. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the grand opening of Handy and Greedy's Smurf Walk Cafe! Hooray! Oh, what a Smurfy place to see and be seen! My partner Handy and I will be serving the latest Smurfiest new taste sensation, Smurf Cream! Oh. Amazing! Here, Papa Smurf, will you Smurf the first bite <laughs> before I do? Why, certainly, Greedy. What do you think, Papa Smurf? Mmm. Why, it's... Mmm. It's very... Mmm. 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 I couldn't have said it better myself, Papa Smurf. I hate to admit it, but whoever came up with the idea for Smurf Cream is almost as brilliant as I am. Oh, yes. Who came up with the idea for Smurf Cream, anyway? I did. 
<laughs> oh, come on now, partner. It was my idea, remember? Your machine just happened to get in the way. <laughs> uh, no, partner. Your idea was just plain old Smurf berries and cream until I invented the Smurf cream maker. Ah, uh, that was the easy part. I invented the secret recipe. <laughs> that was the easy part. They both sound pretty easy to me. You stay out of this. I don't need your recipe to make Smurf cream greedy. I'll Smurf up with my own recipe and open my own cafe. Yeah, well, so will I. Sorry, Smurfs, but this Smurf Walk Cafe is going out of business. Oh, no! Here, let me help you get going. Please, I'm just an innocent bye, Smurfer. <laughs> One way or another, I always end up with this end up. Please, my little Smurfs, I thought you were partners. Oh, we're partners, all right. You better keep us as far apart as possible. You won't last a day without my machine, Greedy. Yeah, well, you won't last a day without my recipe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, my. Step right up. Step right up, every Smurf, to Handy Smurf or Cafe, featuring Handy's new improved secret recipe. Oh, we can't wait to try it, Handy. Well, what do you think? Well, Handy, it tastes like, um, uh, well, uh, it tastes... To be perfectly honest, Handy, it tastes like yuck sawdust. Come on, Smurfs, let's try Greedy's new cafe. Yeah! Let's go! Well, what's Greedy got that I don't? 100, 100 flavors of Smurf cream! That's right! <laughs> I've got everything from Smurfberry Bang Bang to Double Triple Chocolate Ripple. Oh, my, this menu is overwhelming. Oh, I'll have Greedy's glorious gooseberry, please. And I'll have the caramel-coated kaboom. One glorious gooseberry coming up. <laughs> that stuff looks like soup. <laughs> you should call it Greedy's glorious goopberry. <laughs> oh, dear, I think Handy and Greedy really do need each other. <laughs> Very soon, Azriel, my giant snowball will be just the right size. Just the right size to crush the Smurfs and their village to smithereens. Yeah! <laughs> Step right up. Step right up to Greedy's Smurf Walk Cafe. Once was quite enough, thank you. Come on, come all to Handy Smurf Walk Cafe. Uh, sorry, Handy, but I'm just not hungry. Yeah, that stuff would make any Smurf lose their appetite. <laughs> I haven't had a customer all afternoon, and my Smurf cream is melting. I'd better go Smurf some more ice. Oh, hello, Handy. Oh, hello, Greedy. Um, how's business? Oh, uh, oh, just Smurfy. My customers keep me so busy, I don't even have time to eat. Oh. Oh, really? Well, my customers keep me so busy, I don't have time to eat or sleep. My Smurf cream is in demand day and night. Oh, really? How strange. The sun is set much earlier than usual today. Great Smurfs! A, a giant snowball is blocking out the sun. Well, Smurfette says she can't live without my Smurf Fairy Bang Bang, so... <gasps> Greedy, look! Any moment, Azriel. My giant snowball will pulverize the Smurfs into a hundred little snowflakes. Help! Help! Mr. Mr. Snowbees! Mr. Snowbees! We need you! Let us go! Let us go, you fool! You've started an avalanche! Not again! Hang on, Greedy! Hang on! Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, Greedy. I'll dig you out. Are you all right, partner? I think so, but I feel like I'm made of Smurf cream. Hey, did you notice, Handy? You called me partner again. I, I did, didn't I? Oh, thanks for all your help, Mr. Snowbeast. Now we 
better smurf back to our village. If it's still there. Oh, golly, Papa Smurf. What do we do with all this snow? Hmm. We could make Smurf cream. My Smurf cream, Papa Smurf? Well... My Smurf cream, Papa Smurf? Well, I know. Uh, how about our Smurf cream? The kind we invented uh, together? Yes! An excellent idea, Handy. To tell you the truth, Greedy, my whole business has melted without you. Really, Handy? Well, my Smurf fairy Bang Bang hasn't been the same without you. What do you say we go back into business together, partner? Sounds Smurfy to me, partner. Hooray! <clears throat> now that you two are back in business, you can get right to work on my order. I want three dips of Smurf Berry Bang Bang and two scoops of caramel coated kaboom with just a teensy weensy sprinkle of nuts and an itsy bitsy mound of chocolate topping and lots of whipped cream and cherries. And I want it now. Not only is Handy and Greedy's Smurf Cream delicious, but their speedy delivery is unbelievable. Any luck, Hefty? Nothing, Papa Smurf. Oh, Papa Smurf, the drought has dried everything up. No, uh, there's not a single thing to eat in the whole forest. Well, Vanity and Clumsy are still looking. Maybe they'll have some luck. I hope. Oh, gosh, Vanity. If we don't find some food fast, all the Smurfs will starve. Well, one thing about starving, it does highlight my handsome cheekbones. Ooh, and your ribs. <gasps> You're right. Oh, Clumsy, what are we going to do? Just have to keep looking for something to eat, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, she she wants us to take it. Oh, thanks, but we couldn't. Uh, yeah, you got your little ones to think of. <laughs> okay, okay, if you insist. Thanks, Miss Squirrel. Mm. Ooh, at last. Let's eat. Wait, what about the other Smurfs? Uh, oh yeah, we better share this. Come on. Uh, clumsy. Why don't we just, uh, eat our share now? Relax, Vanity. The village is just a hop, skip, and a yip! <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'll get it. Ooh. Ah! Yikes! He vanished. Clumsy, are you all right? to go g g get it. Hmm? Osriel, quit complaining. We're out of food, so we'll just have to eat this slime soup and like it. Finicky feline. There's nothing wrong with this soup. See? <laughs> Perhaps there is a pinch too much uh, slime. <laughs> We're doomed, Azriel, doomed! That was the last bit of food in the whole forest. Wait a minute. There is still food in the forest. Really? Yes, yes. Little blue bonbons called Smurfs. <coughs> and in their hungry, weakened condition, they should be easy to catch. <laughs>
All right, Smurfs, get your digging tools and some containers. Yay! Hmm. There's something familiar about this, if only I could remember. Here, little Smurfs, Uncle Gargamel has a yummy surprise for you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah, phooey! I don't find them soon. I'll be too hungry to look any further. Ouch! Aha! I know you have more nuts up there, and I'm starving. <laughs> look, look at all the nuts I smell. We'll roast them for lunch. No scrawny squirrel is going to hold out on us. <laughs> Maybe we better stick to Smurf hunting, Azriel. It's less hazardous to our health. Oh, there it is! Food galore! Ooh. Ah. Well done, Smurfs. This is truly a fight. Come on, let's start digging! Yeah, let me at it! I'm starved! Yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. I only wish I knew why this seems so familiar. Oh, boy! Ooh, I can't wait to eat this big red apple. Or oh, these juicy orange. Or these smurf berries. Or this, uh, uh, this, um, uh, this mistletoe. Mistletoe? 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 Well, some kind of toe, see? Yes! <laughs> but there's something in there. Now I remember. Huh? There is an ancient smurf legend about an ogre. Long ago, stole all the Smurfs' food. Because of his selfishness, the ogre was frozen in his cave before he could eat a single berry. Everything will remain frozen until the sun finally shines on that enchanted diamond, breaking the spell. Oh, but the sun will never shine in here. And we'll never eat. Hold it. Maybe there is a way. Papa Smurf, what if we... Handy, you're a genius. Okay, Vanity, let's have your mirror. There. I don't understand it, Hazriel. Not a sign of those rotten little Smurfs anywhere. It's as if the ground just swallowed them up. Aha! What have we here? A Smurf-sized mirror. Yes, yes. I smell them too, Asriel. <laughs> and this time, we have them trapped. More to the right, Smurfette. Up a little. More to the left, Smurfette. Now to the right. Up a little. That's it. It's working. It's working. Tonight, we'll eat like Smurfs. Yay! Food! A mountain of food! And the most incredible jewel I've ever seen! Oh, boy! Yummy, yummy! I can't wait! I hate waiting. All right, Smurfs, that's enough. Let's go. But, Papa Smurf, we're just getting started. Pretty? Yes, Papa Smurf. Surprise! Gargamel! Let us out of here, Gargamel, or you're in for an even bigger surprise. Don't you threaten me, you little worm. I'm in charge now. <laughs> All of this belongs to me, and only me. First, I will enjoy my new jewel. Then I will feast on all my new food. <laughs> Mmm, mm, good. <laughs> and I will save you Smurfs for dessert. <laughs> uh -oh. ah! <laughs> My food! I warned you, Gargamel! <laughs> Here's your food back, Mr. Ogre. I was just kidding. <laughs> Not funny. 
No, 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 not at all. Uh, you're right, I agree. Uh, but, but it was all their idea. They sneaked in here and stole all this stuff. Uh, so if I were you, I would teach them a lesson. Bye now. <laughs> Now you pay! Oh. Stop, Ogre! Uh. You know what happened the last time you were selfish? Mm. Yeah! You wouldn't want that to happen again, would you? Mm. Tell you what, I share food! <laughs> Deal? Deal! Let's go, Smurfs! Wait! <laughs> Uh, take diamond too. It give me uh, chills. <laughs> no sign of Gargamel, but that doesn't mean he's not around. So use caution, my little Smurfs. I hate dark logs. Oh, my goodness. Now, miserable Smurfs, I not only have all your food, but your little blue hides as well. Hey, get off my back! Logamel, <laughs> you're making a big mistake. That diamond doesn't tolerate selfishness. <laughs> I'm no fool, Papa Smurf. You just want it for yourself, but it's mine now, and so are you. What's this? What's happening? <laughs> your greed is your undoing. I'm freezing. Let's Smurf out of here. Gangway. Papa Smurf. Please break the spell. That is impossible. But not to worry, Gargamel. When the sun strikes the diamond, everything will return to normal. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like rain. Rain! Rain! The drought's over! Rain! Gee, Papa Smurf, it may be days before the sun comes out again. Yes! Isn't it Smurfy? <laughs> Dancing and laughing! <laughs> Stop it! Stop all that happiness, do you hear? That's an order from me, Gargamel! Ooh, if only I could capture their miserable blue hides! But how? For years I've tried every evil trick I know, and still they escape me. Oh, alas, 
I have no choice but to seek advice from Balthazar. Balthazar! Oh, the very thought of visiting him fills me with dread. But it's the only way, the only way. Smurfs, enjoy your disgusting happiness while you can. We'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> No, 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 Clumsy. You don't find eggs under rocks. Oh, you don't? Of course not. Oh! Ah, this is where we'll find our Easter eggs. Oh, boy! Here, egg! Here, egg! Eggy, eggy! You never learn, do you? Let me handle this. You're fat. Oh, shh. Don't talk. Listen, that's how you'll learn. But, 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 Brainy, you're... Trust me, clumsy. Why, there isn't a canine alive I can outsmart. <laughs> now, what do we do, Brainy? Hold me. Let's get out of here. <sighs> oh, I think we lost him. Right. Along with our Easter eggs, what will we tell Papa Smurf? Oh, Brainy! Not now, Clumsy, I'm thinking. But Brainy! Shh! Egg, eggs, eggs, eggs. Oh, oh, an idea is forming. A hazy but undoubtedly brilliant idea that will... But what's wrong with this egg? This egg? <laughs> this egg, yes! Well, that was my idea all along. Yes, all along. Oh, really? Well... Guess that's why you're the brains of the outfit. I, I, I don't like visiting Balthazar any more than you do, Azriel. But we, we must be brave. Remember, Asriel, be brave. Balthazar! 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 Balthazar, it's me! Gargamel, your only godson. I know. That's why I went easy on you. Now, state your business. Oh, yes. Well, uh, well I, I, I want to know how, uh, how to catch Smurfs. Smurfs? Smurfs? <laughs> Smurfs are nothing but a myth. The only place you'll find Smurfs is in this book. It's full of fairy tales about goblins and leprechauns and Smurfs. <laughs> it even has a formula for turning lead into gold by boiling six Smurfs. Turning lead into gold by boiling six Smurfs? Oh, <laughs> oh of course, <laughs> that is absurd. And here's a scheme for catching Smurfs by tricking Mother Nature into freezing them out of their village. No! Mother Nature, Smurfs, madness! All superstitious madness! Oh, yes, <laughs> of course. You're absolutely right. I'm always right. I'll be off. I've seen enough of you for one day. Uh, yes, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, goodbye, Godfather. <laughs> And now I'll not only catch those vile little smurfs, but turn them into gold as well. <laughs> oh, I'll fry a few, pickle a few, and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few, and roast a few, and boil six smurfs for gold. Hey! Oh, God! 
gosh, what's going on? Oh, my goodness. It's hatching. Hatching? Oh, isn't he just precious? Not bad for a duck. Oh, poor little ducky. What a terrible way to start your very first day. <laughs> I believe he thinks you're his mother, Smurfette. His mother? But I... <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Mother Nature! Where are you? Yoo-hoo! Mother Nature! Yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, me, oh, my, oh, my! Every year it's harder to shake the winter chill out of these old bones. Wake up, children! Spring is here! Oh, that's Santa! Ooh. Why, oh! Ooh. What's Ooh. all the excitement? Ooh. Ooh. A visitor, you say? Ooh. Oh, why, I haven't had a visitor in centuries! Coming! Ooh. Coming! And yes? Oh, Mother Nature! I have traveled many, many miles to bring you this humble token of my undying yeah. devotion. Oh, how nice! Uh, but these don't look like mine. Uh, yeah, but, but they're almost as sweet. Uh, smell them. <gasps> oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh my, I, I don't feel so well. There, there, Mother Nature. You're under my power now. Oh, no! You'll upset the balance of things! I... they haven't finished changing the seasons yet! <laughs> Pleasant dreams, Mother Nature! Azriel, we've done it! We've nipped spring in the bud! Soon Papa Smurf will come around to see what's wrong! And then... <laughs> I'll be here waiting! <laughs> <laughs> Yum, 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 Hmm, strange. It almost feels like winter again. No! Great balls of Smurf! Something is very wrong with the weather. I must call an emergency meeting. And this, my little Smurfs, is the worst blizzard I have seen in all my 543 years. We must take action immediately. I hate taking action. Andy! Right here, Papa Smurf! I want a ladder tall enough to reach the lower branches of the great oak. Hefty, clumsy, brainy, and vanity. Smurf in a hand. Yes, Papa Smurf! Jokey, Crouchy, Smurfette, Taylor, and Farmer, go to the storehouse and gather what little food is left. Yes, Papa Smurf! Something tells me we're in for a long winter. Get 
Ariel! Don't let him escape! <laughs> Soon, my vile little smurfs, I will turn you into gold and become the richest, most powerful wizard in the world! And you and your papa smurf will be no more! <laughs> Introduce a friend of mine. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Now I must return to the village. Pass. Azriel. Azriel. Oh, I can't wait for that fool cat. I have six. Smurfs to boil, and then I'll have gold and be rich, filthy, filthy rich. <laughs> oh, I'll fry a few, pickle a few, and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few and roast a few and boil six smurfs for gold. Hey! Smurfs, smurfs, smurfs! Smurfs, smurfs, smurfs! Smurfs, smurfs, smurfs! Gargamel has kidnapped Mother Nature. Mother Nature! Mother Nature. And six smurfs. Six smurfs! And unless we free Mother Nature, the whole forest will remain frozen forever. What are we waiting for? Come on, let's go! Yeah. Oh, no, mean old Gargamel! No, Ducky, you stay! No, Ducky, stay! This will be too dangerous! No, you stay! Love you. Harmony, handy, greedy, a door handle. Right, Papa Smurf? They boil Smurfs. <laughs> gold, lots of gold. You're rich, rich. Oh, filthy rich. <laughs> Vanity, guard the door. Yes, Papa Smurf. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Papa Smurf. <laughs> All right, now, hang on. We'll Smurf you out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the handsome oh. Smurf warrior guards his post. Look at those steely eyes, that firm jaw, those stunning whiskers. Whiskers! Yes, real! <laughs> 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 Mother Nature. But Papa Smurf, we can't leave you here. Smurf it? That's an order. Uh, yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, poor Papa. I hope you'll be all right if Gargamel ever wakes up. If this doesn't wake up Mother Nature, nothing will. Ducky, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look! Someone's coming! Another human! Oh! He can only mean terrible trouble for Papa Smurf! Ah! It's ready! <laughs> Open up, Gargamel! I know you're in there! Gargamel! What, 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 what is... Uh, uh, 
Where is my book? I know you stole it. And what of the Smurfs? Are they real? Tell me! Tell me! Smurfs? Real? <laughs> oh, well, of course not. <clears throat> They're gone. My, my Smurfs are gone. <laughs> gone, 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 gone. <gasps> A Smurf? They are real. Papa Smurf! Sorry, Gargamel, but I have to run. Stop! Halt! <clears throat> Gargamel, you're a blithering idiot and a disgrace to the family. Now, out of my way! Hooray! Stop the Smurfs! Ah! Hurry! All I need to make gold is six Smurfs, and it doesn't matter if they're alive or dead. Watch closely, Gargamel. This is the magic wand of the future. It has the power to change the world. Poor duckling wasn't so lucky. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Godfather, that's amazing! That's... Silence! Hear me, Smurfs, and hear me well! I am Balthazar, Master Wizard! Surrender six of your own to me, or you will all pay dearly! That's right! You'll pay dearly! Oh, no. <laughs> I will... <laughs> of Gargamel. He put you under a sleeping spell to hold back spring. Hold back spring? Oh, yes, yes. I, I remember now. He had black roses. Shame on you, Gargamel. You've thrown everything out of balance just for your own selfish reasons. Oh! oh. oh wait! Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! You can't get away with this, you old... There it's done. Spring has returned. Yay! Yay! Mother Nature, can you do something for Ducky? Oh, the poor dear. Well, let me see. There, there, Ducky. Oh, he'll be all right now, Smurfette. Oh, Ducky. Now, that really is something to cheer about. Papa Smurf, this has been a wonderful Easter. Thank you for everything. We were glad to be of help, Mother Nature. You're just lucky I'm not a few thousand years younger, Papa Smurf. <laughs> oh, and a lot shorter. <laughs> you -ho! Mother Nature! It's for you, Mother Nature! <laughs> it's a surprise! No, Yogi, no! Why, thank you, Jogi! Oh, they're beautiful! <sighs>
Hold my toolbox, clumsy. Oh, uh, sure, Briny. Oh, my foot. Ooh. I need my snowflower pollen to reduce the swelling. Oh, but it's back in my lab. Don't worry, Papa Smurf. I'll get it for you. Clumsy, this was all your fault, so you better get that snowflower pollen right away or Papa Smurf may never forgive you. Oh, golly! Oh, here I come, Papa Smurf, as fast as I... I'll take it from here, Clumsy. Huh? I've got it, Papa Smurf! Uh, but, Brainy, that's no fair, I... Whoop! Whoa! I got it! Oh, and I've had it. <laughs> Don't worry, Papa Smurf. I'll get you plenty more snowflower pollen. <sighs> but there's only one snowflower in the entire world. And it only blooms once a year. In fact, it should be blooming now. Just tell me where it is and I'll go get it. I'm glad you feel that way, Brainy, because the snowflower I need grows at the top of Ice Mountain. Ice, Ice Mountain? Mountain. Now remember, Smurfs, you mustn't pick the snowflower. Just bring back the pollen. That way, the flower can continue to bloom each year. Right, Papa Smurf! Forward! Ho! Goodbye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bon voyage! Your bravery will not be for... Oops! Hefty, I'm thirsty, and, uh, and, uh, I, I, I forgot to go to the bathroom. And, um, I didn't make my bed. So can I go back? Will you relax, Granny? There's nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. a funny feeling we're being watched. Watched? <laughs> oh, come on, Smurfette. All of a sudden, this place has given me the creeps, too. Well, let's just find that snowflower pollen and get out of here. Oh, look. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? Last one to the snowflower is a frozen Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where did this big hole come? I don't know. And I don't think we want to find out. Oh, let's just get that pollen and head for home. Okay, easy there. Careful. I can't go any higher. I'm the lightest Smurf here. Try lifting me up. This is risky, Smurfette. Maybe you better not. No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, look! Smurf smoke signals from Ice Mountain. My Smurfs need me. Quickly, bring a sled. Please, put me down, please. Please, please. 
please don't keep me here. I just want to go back to my friends. <laughs> Look, I don't belong to you, and I don't belong here. Now let me go. <laughs> oh, don't cry. I, I appreciate your gift. It's just that I'm breathing <laughs> in here. <laughs> Thank you, but, but, but I'm starving too. <laughs> oh, but I need more than just an icicle. Hmm. <laughs> Smurfs were swept away. Poor Greedy. We've heard his stomach growl for the last time. And Clumsy will never be able to drop a log on my good foot. Our <laughs> 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 beloved Smurfs! They're alive! <laughs> Excellent. Now, let's follow that beast to Smurfette. I'll treat my foot on the way. Help! Oh, help! Somebody help! <laughs> oh, thank you, Snoopy. That's the second time you've saved my life. Oh, what happened to your poor foot? There he is! Smurfette must be inside. Don't worry! We got him now! Charge! <laughs> <laughs> we got him cornered! Yeah! Give us smart fat! Yeah, yeah! Give us smart fat! <laughs> All of you, stop! You're scaring him! What? This poor snow beast isn't evil. He's just lonely and wants me to stay here. Snow beast? We don't mean you any harm. This snow flower pollen will heal your sore foot. You see, snow flowers can only exist in ice and snow, and Smurfette can only live in the warm climate of the Smurf village. Like the snow flower, there is only one Smurfette in all the world. And now, the snow flower is no more. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Ooh. 
<laughs> Remember, take only what we need. Thank you for sharing your snowflowers with us. May we return next year when they bloom again? <laughs> that means we'll see each other every year, too. Bye-bye! <laughs> Today, we honor those beloved Smurfs who risked their lives seeking the snowflower. We're so glad you're home. Uh, and I thought you'd be dead. Nope, I'm just out of food. Have some more cake? More sarsaparilla? Mm, I don't mind if I do. Got a surprise for you, Papa Smurf! <laughs> yes, in spite of everything, it's good to have things back to normal. <laughs> should be there, but it isn't. 4,000 years ago, you say? Oh, Father Time, are you sure you don't mean five or 6,000 years ago? It was 4,000 years ago, I tell you. The moon is late and it's Harold's fault. Who? Her brother, Harold. That's simply not true, Father Time. Uh, cupcake. <laughs> uh, 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 Rotten cold. If I don't stay in bed, I'll get moonitis again. Maybe I should spend the whole month in bed. So no moon. So who would notice? So who cares? Only these rats care. And they only like me for my cheese. Shouldn't we see this phase of the moon by now, Papa Smurf? Yes, Dreamy, we should. Hmm. Odd, isn't it? Will we still have the festival of the full moon, Papa Smurf? I hope so, Dreamy. Now go to bed and get some sleep. Oh, please, Father Time, you take it. We were talking about the man in the moon, and he is late. Do you know what this does to the tides? Uh, for tea, perhaps. I want the man in the moon to do his job and light up the moon on time. <laughs> to three lizard livers, add two drops of snail juice, and stir. <laughs> oh, shut up, you mangy rat. I'm going to make you big and strong. <laughs> snail juice, stir. Ah, yes, here we go. Dip the rat three times in the dippy goo. And while still wet, dangle for two minutes beneath the light of the new moon. Wait until you see this, you rotten smurfs! <gasps> no new moon? La 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 dum dum dum. Mmm, delicious! Hurry it up, Clumsy. No, no, Clumsy, bring them over here. Hey! We should tell them, Papa Smurf, about the moon, I mean, that we may not have a festival of the full moon. <laughs> Who would notice if I quit my job? Nobody! Who would notice if I left the moon? Nobody! Nobody appreciates me. Nobody except you rats. And you guys only like me for my cheese. Is it true, Papa Smurf, that the moon is made of cheese? <laughs> well, I don't know, Dreamy. I've never been there. But if there is no moon tonight, we'll know something is gravely wrong up there. Oh, my! These long-distance calls are such trouble. If I know your brother, he's teaching those old rats new tricks. Goodbye, you rats. <laughs> Spend a lifetime working on the moon, and where does it get you? Not even a phone call. <laughs> so long, moon! <laughs> Father, I do hope he's all right. 
I tell you, Mother, if he doesn't do his job, the tides won't change. Calendars won't work. The skies won't... What are you gonna do, Papa Smurf? I don't know, Dreamy. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Baby's first festival of the full moon. Oh, Papa Smurf, what if the moon never shines again? Then it will indeed be a sad world, Dreamy. Four days and still no moon. You must come out, you stupid moon. You must. Without the moon, the transformation cannot begin. Now, where is that constant moon? It must come out. It must. Oh, do you have to go, Papa Smurf? Yes, Smurfette. I must meet with Mother Nature about matters of great importance. And Brainy has a list of things that need doing during my absence. Be good, my little Smurfs. Bye-bye, Papa Smurf. You heard what Papa Smurf said. He said that I, Brainy Smurf, am in charge. Therefore, Now, no, wait just one minute. I... Nobody ever appreciates the one in charge. Oh, my! A visitor, you say? I wonder who it could be at this time of year. Yeah, who is it, Mother? Papa Smurf! Oh, oh, how good it is to see you. No doubt you have noticed, Papa Smurf, that there uh, is no moon. If you don't hurry up with those lyrics, we'll never be done on time. Don't press, Harmony. <clears throat> moon, moon. Now, what rhymes with moon? Oh, please, moon, please, please shine down on me. Uh, who are you? I'm the man in the moon. Who are you? I'm Dreamy Smurf. Gosh, what are you doing here? Well, for one thing, it's warm. And for another, it's interesting. No wonder my sister has a cottage here. Oh, wait till I tell Papa Smurf. No, 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 there is no way I can make a trip to the moon. Time demands my every moment. I know how you feel about the festival, Papa Smurf. But as much as I would like to see my brother, I cannot make the trip. Too many things demand my attention. Uh, uh, perhaps, Papa Smurf, you could go. An excellent idea, Mother. Me? Well, it would be a great honor, but I really couldn't leave my little Smurfs. However, I may be able to offer volunteers. You, 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 and you. Yes, yes Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf. Oh, I do wish Dreamy were here. He'd love to go. <laughs> Very difficult to get around here. I can't bounce. I feel heavy. Dizzy, too. I'm sorry. You'd better pray the moon comes out tonight, or you'll be food for my cat. Don't be afraid, my dear. There's no reason to fear the river of time. Does it really flow in two directions at once? It does indeed. Be sure and tell Harold I love him. Oh, we will, Mother Nature. Oh, what a darling little boat. I'd rather be cooking. All right, my dears, into the boat. And remember, when you see yourself coming, you'll know it's time to go. They're ready. <laughs> May you have a pleasant journey. <laughs> One moment we were on Earth, and now we're here. Gee, you, what's that smell? Oh, boy, cheese! I wonder how we get in. Mother Nature said to follow the well-worn path. Father Time said there would be a door. Look, there it is! Looks like you're going to have a party. A festival of the full moon. It's in your honor. Oh, you do this for me? Sure, and we do it every year. Well, maybe not this year, on account of you're here and not there. Everybody will sure be disappointed. Well, too bad. I'm never going back. Ah, what fun! I feel lightheaded. I feel foolish. Mother Nature seemed to think we'd know exactly what to do once we got here. But this is really complicated. Ah, look! I wonder what that is. Mirror, mirror on the wall, you make me look like I'm ten feet tall. Let's hope this is the right one. 
impossible. Absolutely impossible. Well, no matter. I'll carry on anyway. Moon, moon, bright and shining moon, won't you please shine down on this? Moon, moon, bright and shining moon, please give this rat your kiss. Hey, wait for me! I don't care how many presents appear, I'm never going back. Never, never, never! But you must go back. You're the inspiration for my dreams. Well, now, who have we here? Oh, Papa Smurf, I'd like you to meet the man in the moon. I'm so pleased to meet you, Mr. Moon. And tell me, why did you leave? It's the best I can do. We have to go. Hurry, hurry, it's time. Wait, wait for me, please. Wait, not so fast. I can please wait. I... God, God, God. We need you, Mr. Think of the time! A lovebird! Baby's first festival! I'm certain Mother Nature appreciates you. Now, just the other day, she told me how much she loves you. <gasps> she did? We're sinking! Well, we wouldn't be sinking, Greedy Smurf, if you hadn't brought along so much cheese! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, all of you, for showing me how much I need. I guess I'd better get back to work. Father Time must be in a snit. Well, so long, Dreamy. It's been nice meeting you. I promise to write, Mr. Moon. Let me say just a few words in honor of this most... <laughs> Help! Somebody help me! Big nose, new moon, rat fiend. What are you doing here? Drop it, you dirty rat. I said drop it. Now sit. <laughs> Lie down. <laughs> Roll over. I said roll over. Yeah, boy. Good boy. Well, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, goodbye Mr. Moon. I hate to see you go. I hate hating to see you go. Heel, boy, heel. be the first day of spring without a pot vote regatta, eh, Grandpa? Yes, indeedy, Papa. We've been holding these annual races ever since I was a whippersmurfer. Well, Brainy, your boat certainly looks ready. Using Brainy's first boat-building Bible, I have perfected a pod totally impervious to water penetration. In short, this boat is unsinkable. <laughs> yep, just like last year. <sighs> Gosh, so we're up late, Brainy. Clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. Don't be silly. You're just in time to help me bail. Oh, sure thing, Brady. Uh -huh. Oh, clumsy. Why don't you lend some other Smurf a hand? Golly, Brady. That's a Smurfy idea. Oh, that clumsy is so unreliable, except when it comes to ruining things. Gee, Clumsy, it sure was smurfy of you to help me attach my sail. Now, I think it goes right here. No, on second thought, I think the left is right. Oh, but what if I'm wrong? Yes, left is wrong, except it might be right. Clumsy, what are you doing in there? That's definitely not right. Gosh, I'd love to help you out, Clumsy, if I could just get out. <laughs> Nothing like fresh baked regatta sail cakes. Mm, 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 chock full of Smurf berries. Hmm, mm, glad you dropped in, clumsy. I just ran out of Smurf berries for my next batch of sail cakes. If I go get some more, will you Smurf an eye on my oven? Gosh, sure thing, Grady. Uh, uh, what do I do? Just make sure this needle doesn't Smurf over into the red. Don't worry, Grady. You can rely on me. <laughs> Oh, Clumsy, can you smurf me a hand and untie my boat? Gosh, sure, Dreamy. Golly, oh, this knot is not easy. Hurry, Clumsy, the wind is smurfing up. Oh, oh gosh, I think it's coming on down. It sure is. <laughs> oh, hey. 
Yes, that sounds like green as ever. He's only trying to help. Help? He's too unreliable. With his help, we'll never get our boats ready for the regatta. Every Smurf should be more patient with Clumsy. He only means well. Well, mark my words, he'll sink us all. I'm going to sink those simpering Smurfs once and for all. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Hey, watch it, Gordy. It's in here somewhere. Let's see. Moats, monstrosities, moon. Moon! Ah, here it is! Do you know what this is, Krupel? <laughs> it was either a sneeze or a great way to get yourself clobbered. I'll clobber you! I meant this crow! It's a lunar calendar, you moon-faced misfit. It shows the phases of the moon and the changes of the seasons. And guess what day it says tomorrow is? Your birthday? Already? Gee, I haven't gotten a gift yet, Gordy, but I, uh... No, you lunar lunatic! It's not my birthday! It's the first day of spring. <laughs> Now, combine my Smurf observation chart with the lunar calendar, and I can predict exactly where those sickening Smurfs will be on the first day of spring. Right here on the River Smurf. Yes, taking part in a little blue boat race. But tomorrow, we'll be taking part, too. We? Yes, we. Oh, I could have predicted he'd say that. Golly, Smurfette, didn't you help with those flowers? Oh, uh, no, thank you, Clumsy. I I'm almost done. Uh, gosh, Brady, uh, you need some help? Oh, stay away, Clumsy. You've done quite enough already. Sure, Brady. Anything you say. Why, Clumsy, what's wrong? Gee, Papa Smurf, I I've offered my help to every Smurf, but they won't let me near their boats. I feel so, so useless. Smurf for today. That can mean only one thing. It's time you start building your own boat. Gosh, what a Smurfy idea. I'll start right away. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the way I build my boat. Build my boat, build my boat. <laughs> this is the way I build my boat early in the morning. Here, Clumsy. These are for your new boat. I hope they bring you luck. Gosh, for me? Gee, thanks, Smurfette. Oh, you're quite welcome. <laughs> Look, Smurfy, clumsy. Keep up the good work. Gosh, thanks, Happy. Don't mention it. Smurfer Rusky, these odd boats look all ready for the regatta. Indeed they do, Grandpa. But I don't see Clumsy. I wonder how his boat's coming along. Oh, it's almost noon. Shouldn't we be starting the regatta? Don't be such a worry, Smurf. Papa Smurf always starts the regatta on time. There's no margin for error, Scrooper. When the noonday sun reaches its precise peak, I must start the timer on my new Smurf Snatcher. But, Gargi, what if the Smurfs aren't on time? Oh, but they will be. I've studied my charts on everything. Sun, wind, water currents. Those soggy Smurfs won't escape me this time. <laughs> <laughs> my boat's all ready to race, and I'm bound to win, because I'm bringing along my good luck rock collection. <laughs> Clumsy, Papa Smurf says to hurry up. The race is going to start if you don't... Look out! Whoa! Whoa! Papa Smurf, it's high noon, and I say it's high time we started this race, because it's customary to begin at... Smurf, 
patootie. That Smurf has enough wind to fill any sail. But he's right, Grandpa Smurf. I've given him clumsy enough time. Harmony, you may sound the annual starting note now. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, my doubting disciple? They're off at noon, just as I predicted. Now time is running out for those nautical nitwits. <laughs> Golly, Flood! We're winning! We're winning! That might be true. On the other hand, we're also sinking! Gosh, I don't get it. My lucky rock collection wouldn't let me down. No, but then again, it's weighing us down. Maybe you should smurf a few rocks over the side. I can't believe Clumsy's winning this year's regatta! <laughs> no one could have predicted that! Mal de mer! Watching Clumsy's butt is making me seasick! Now this rock can definitely go! But then again, it's quite unusual! Gosh, Flood! We haven't thrown away one rock! Well, maybe you should... then again... Time's almost up, Gargi. What's keeping your sailing smurfs? Stay down, you dingy dunce. They'll be here any second. <laughs> oh, that unreliable clumsy. This regatta should have been over by now. Smurf for diddle. Clumsy said start is keeping every smurf from getting started. No, wait, wait, not yet. Not yet. Oh, these tidbits haven't arrived yet. Wait. <laughs> Golly, there goes my rock collection, and there goes our lead. Don't be do it, it's about time. Spurf you later, clumsy. Oh, it's time to mill. Hands off, you whippersnapper. Ooh, it's not fair. I had it all figured out. You Smurfs were supposed to be here a minute ago. Thanks, Smurf, Miss Clumsy. Or we would have been. <laughs> Maybe you'd better do a little recalculating, Corgi. <laughs> Quiet, you addle-brained assistant. Now get me down. Come on, buddy. Pull. <laughs> we might be able to loosen the log, but then again, we might not. <laughs> Just pull! Go, Lee! We're back in the race! You tie a pretty mean knot, Gargi! Faster, you fumbling flunky! Maybe we can still catch them! Gosh, Gargamel! <laughs> Looks like my predictions were right on the nose, Grouper! <laughs> What's you ever Smurf cheering for? We came in last. Now you've lost my lucky rock collection. And we almost got caught by Gargamel. Smurf a tootie. That's just it, Heidi. We all would have been caught by Gargamel, just where he predicted, if it hadn't been for Clumsy delaying us upriver. As I've always said, being unreliable and unpredictable is what I like most about my good friend Clumsy. <laughs> Gosh, thanks, Brady. But who really won that regatta? Lazy Smurf. So I'm sure he won't mind giving this to you, Clumsy. <laughs> Ooh, I'll say, if it wasn't for him, I'd be sleeping in Gargamel's stew pot right now. Um... <laughs> Golly. Thanks, Lazy. Thanks, Papa Smurf. Uh, Brainy, I promise to be a more reliable... Well, it's about... <laughs> Thanks, Smurfness. There's one thing we can always rely on. Clumsy will always be clumsy. Well, shine my snowshoes. Looks like we've landed in the South Pole. Well, I just wish our landings went so messy. I seem to have come through it beautifully. Whoa! Come back, you mirror napper! Oh, my poor mirror! 
And for me, how will I ever look myself in the eye again? Oh, don't worry. We'll think of something, Vanity. La, 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 la. Oh, please, don't make waves, Greedy. I can almost see myself in this zoo. Some soup with no firewood to heat it. This soup of split pea is more like iced tea. Oh, how could you, Greedy? You've just shattered my only hopes of catching a glimpse of my glum self. No use crying over split soup, Vanity. Why don't you try catching your reflection in the ocean? <gasps> but of course, a whole sea of me. Oh, this just won't do. True wavy hair can be attractive, but a wavy face just isn't me. And where did that beastly blemish come from? <laughs> oh, it's that two-tone troublemaker. Get away from me, you winged wacko. Hey, look out. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Brainy. I just... Calm down, Vanity. I've got the solution to your problem right here. Oh, you found another mirror? Better than that. I've written a scintillating self-help book for you called Coping with Catastrophe the Brainy Smurf Way. Oh, it's me! It's me! Of course it's you! That's why I wrote it! No, you don't understand. I can see me in your glasses. <laughs> Oh, no, it's that pesky penguin. Ah! Runaway penguin! Smurf for your life! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! We've got to get those precious glasses. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Help! Run, Brainy! That little beast has sent his father after us! I hope you put those time crystals together soon, Papa. We're freezing! Huh? Not to mention starving! <laughs> Why, baby, your rattle is so shiny. I wonder if I might borrow it. <laughs> Shame on you, Vanity, taking baby's rattle! <laughs> It's just that I thought I saw a sorely missed Smurf. Me. Oh, Vanity, you're really bugging us. Trying to see your reflection in everything. Smurf, that's right, Vanity. Hello. Can't you get along a while until we find you a new mirror? Oh, all right, Papa Smurf. Of course, my new image isn't perfect, but it will have to do. After all, it's crystal clear that I had to borrow one of these from Papa. <gasps> Is this a miracle or what? What could be more magnificent than a million me's? Oh, some Smurf out there loves me. And that makes two of us. <laughs> Alright, my little Smurfs, let's take a head count. It's almost time to go. Don't let him get me, Grandpa. He's after my glasses. Smurf for cutie. Add young and get some mighty strange notions. Oh dear, it's baby. But I only turned my back for a second. A second is all it takes for a baby to get into trouble. By Smurfness, this little penguin was around a fish baby out of the drink. And speaking of drink, I could use a nice hot cup of cocoa to calm my nerves. <laughs> Tell Papa Smurf, we've got to hurry and get Baby to a land where we can build a warm fire. And find herbs to heal that cough. Stay calm, my little Smurfs. I only have one more crystal to insert, and we'll be on our way. Great Smurfs, one of the crystals is missing. And Vanity's missing, too. Hmm, I wonder. Such beauty! It's almost more than one Smurf deserves. Mm -hmm. Oh, if only there was some way I could share me. Vanity, where are you? Oh, mercy me. I've forgotten all about Papa's time crystal. 
I hope he's not too upset. Frowns can permanently wrinkle your complexion. I'd better take the crystal to him right away. Goodbye, all of me. Breaking up is hard to do. Uh, here's the time crystal I uh, borrowed, Papa Smurf. I'm sorry I was gone so long, but I just couldn't tear myself away from the natural beauty of that cave. Oh, my what God. is that? Oh, I'm choking. Back to camp, my little Smurfs. The ice is unstable here. All right, every Smurf, hold on. <laughs> Hurry, Papa! Baby's getting worse! Oh! What's wrong, Papa? Great Smurfs! That wasn't our time crystal. That was an ice crystal. Vanity! Uh, try not to get steamed. I must have picked up the wrong crystal. Well, we better hurry back to the cave and find the right one before that iceberg breaks up. I don't know how I could have made such a dreadful error, Papa Smurf. Oh, wow. oh Papa, all these crystals look alike. How will we ever find our time crystal? I'm not sure, Vanity. Well, we better figure out something soon, because there's a whole lot of shaking going on. Say, I've got a sizzling idea. Give me your glasses, Brainy. Why is every Smurf and a family of penguins after my glasses? I absolutely refuse to... Hey! Sorry, Brainy, no time to argue. And baby's getting sicker by the minute. If we use these lenses like a magnifying glass, we can use the sun's rays to melt the ice and find our time crystal. Oh, oh Nice going, Handy. Let's all get to work. Whoa! Watch it, Brainy! Watch what? I can't see anything without my glasses. Somebody tend to Brainy and get him safely out of the way. Great. Just what I need, a seeing eye smogo. Oh, no. It sounds like that crazy penguin. Smoogle, what are you doing? Don't leave me with this berserk bird. Help! Well, Smoogle, well! <laughs> That's using your head, uh, uh, mouse Smoogle. Smoogle found the crystal! Smurf and Lulu, let's skedaddle before this cave caves in. And by then, I had already written my first book and was considered to be the most brilliant Smurf of my generation. <laughs> Whoa! What's Smurfing on? The ice is breaking up! The ice is breaking up! We're gonna be stranded! Hurrah! Some Smurf help! Hold on to your Smurf, Brady! I just had to see one last glorious panorama of me. Hurry, 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 jump! Oh, no. If I have to swim, my skin will wrinkle up like a prune. It's the beast who lost my memory. Get away, get away, get away! The Smurf's entitled to change his mind, isn't he? Come on, Bernie! Hurry up! This freezing water is for the birds. And thanks, Smurfness, it is. finished here. With a little luck, Baby will be in his cradle back home before we can say... Hello. I thought you'd be dropping by to hear the next fascinating chapter in my life. Hello. Everybody's a critic. 
Oh, woe is me. Don't cry, Whipper Smurfer. Are you kidding? If I can collect enough tears, I might be able to see a teensy bit of my reflection. <coughs> oh, I've already thanked you for saving my life. But life just isn't worth living without my mirror. <laughs> Oh, heavenly Smurfs, he's brought me my mirror. I knew the fate could not be so cruel as to keep us apart. Oh, how can I ever thank you, you wonderful winged angel? Here we go, my little Smurfs. As I swirl through time and space, one thing remains constant, this glorious face. <laughs> They're too clumsy. Ah, the apples. Smurf them over there, Hefty. Right, Papa Smurf. Everybody, this way. I hate this way. Okay, Andy. That'll smurf it. It's all full, Papa Smurf. Good. Now we'll have plenty to eat all winter. Smurfs, don't panic. I'll think of something. I hope. And then a big plate of sarsaparilla covered with whipped cream and great big Smurf berry. Thank you for inspiring me, Greedy. Now I can write my great and masterful work, Ode to Hunger. Sorry, Snowman, but there's only one of you and a hundred of us. Oh, goodness, Smurfness, I'm wasting away to nothing. Oh, I'm so hungry, I could eat a, a, a snowball. I can't let my little Smurf starve. There's only one thing to do. My little Smurfs, there is only one thing to do. We must abandon the Smurf village. Abandon the village? What will we Smurf? I hate abandoning. <laughs> Home. Oh, boo, boo! I don't want to smurf anywhere else. 
I know, Smurfette. But leaving the village is our only hope. But where will we go? South. We're bound to find food to the south. Now, all of you, gather your things. But we must travel light, so bring only the bare essentials. Uh, we're all ready to go, Papa Smurf. All right, come on. Oh, my Smurf in heavens! I can't go on, Papa Smurf. I just can't. But we must, or we'll freeze. Stay together and keep moving. A castle. Quickly, quickly, follow me. I don't hear anyone. It looks kind of old, Papa Smurf. Maybe it's deserted. It looks deserted. Quickly, inside. Yuck! This place is dirty! Uh, and scary. There's nothing to fear but fear itself, Clumsy. I always say... <laughs> Don't worry, Brainy. It's probably just the wind. Now, let's see if we can find some food. I'll eat the that. That doesn't sound like wind to me. True, Brainy. But we didn't come all this way to be scared off by strange noises. Smurfs, forward! Good place to go, Papa Smurf. What's that? Shh, someone's coming. The ghost! I knew it! Ah, let's smurf out of here! Yeah, let's run! I know there are no such things as ghosts. Well, maybe I should check on my little smurfs. If Papa Smurf says there's no ghost, then there's no ghost. Because if Papa Smurf says no ghost... Yay! Brainy! Uh, what's wrong? Ghost! I heard ghosts growling! Did anyone ever tell you you're beautiful when you're mad? Listen. Someone likes music! Let's hope he likes food. Well, if he's a ghost, let me at him! Just let me at him! really floating, the harpsichord wasn't really playing itself, and I'm sure there's no ghost inside that headless night. Of course not. I knew it all the time, Papa Smurf. I always say that you should always look before... you leap! Now, if we can just think of a way to get our mysterious host to show himself. Uh, Jokey, did you pack all your essentials? Yes, Papa Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mr. Knight. I brought you a present. <laughs> it's a surprise. 
Are you all right, sir? Huh? I said, are you all right? No. I mean, yes. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Who are you? I am Papa Smurf, and these are... Smurf? What's a Smurf? We live in the forest, and we came here to get out of the cold and hope there might be something to Smurf. They're asking if you've anything to uh, eat. To eat? Uh, you see, there's a real ghost who lives here in the castle, and he steals all my food. <laughs> but, but I do have something I can share. A real ghost? Here we are. <laughs> It isn't much, but it's all I have, I'm afraid. Everything I've had has just slowly disappeared somehow. Our dinner! Let's go after him! You dirty rat! Come back here with our bread! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Smurfs, how can I thank you? You found everything that pack rat ever stole. Thank you for your generosity, Mr. Pommery. Won't you take some gold coins or diamonds? I'll never be able to spend it all. No, thank you. We have no use for such things. Food is all we need. Goodbye, Mr. Pommery. <laughs> I hear you, little fella. From now on, we'll share our food. <laughs> well, my little Smurfs, thanks to Mr. Poppery, tonight we can feast. Excuse me, Papa Smurf. Greedy! Aren't you hungry? Well, to tell you the truth, Papa Smurf, I had a few snacks on the way over. <laughs> <laughs> How about eating a Smurf on a hot summer day? <laughs> Gargamel! I hate Gargamel! Get them, Asriel! <laughs> you won't get away from me this time. Asriel, look! Five little summer snacks waiting just for us! <laughs> You miserable cowards! Cliffhanging and coyotes! Look! It's Crouchy! Act like nothing's wrong! Azriel, one of the little blue bathing beauties is missing! He must have drowned! But, but why are they so happy? <coughs> what is it, Azriel? Ah, an upside down smurf! I'm going to bake him into an upside-down Smurf cake. Jump, Crouchy! Jump! Jump! Just another inch, and we'll have a crunchy little Smurf snack. What's that crunchy noise? Oh, no! to teach Grouchy how to swim. No problem, Papa Smurf. Swimming is as easy as falling out of a tree. I hate falling out of a tree. Isn't this exciting? I can't wait. Hooray! My fellow Smurfs, 
to celebrate Grouchy's first swimming lesson, I've written a poem entitled, Grouchy Makes a Splash. Oh! Water likes you. It's your friend. It holds you up from end to end. So jump right in, swim like an otter, and learn to love your good friend, Water. Oh, Grouchy, you will have lots of fun in the water. Oh, yes. You always see the most interesting Smurfs there. At least I do. All right, enough Smurfing around. Just Smurf your eye on me, Grouchy. Ah! Smurfs always get away with it. We can hit you. If they don't jump up a tree or jump down a hole, they jump into the water. <laughs> but the next time they go near the water, I'll get them. <laughs> this time, I have the perfect plan. Oh! <laughs> Gosh, what went wrong, Papa Smurf? Well, Hefty, sometimes you can be very good at something, but still not be able to teach it to others. That's very true. But I think he'll learn faster if he has a new bathing suit. A bathing suit? I know the best way to teach Grouchy how to swim. All it takes is a Smurf Berry cupcake. <laughs> Works every time. Mmm, yummy too. Now you try it, Grouchy. Ah! Oh, I hate soggy cupcakes. <laughs> Keep quiet, you free ball, or I'll make you ride outside. Now, let's go fishing. The Smurfs, that is. <laughs> I think I've outdone myself this time, Azriel. I think you've outdone yourself this time, Andy. My, oh my. What is it? I proudly present the ultimate teaching machine, the Smurfy Swimomatic. Ooh. Ready, Grouchy? Uh... Then Smurfs away! Simply amazing. <laughs> I told you this was a brilliant idea, Azriel. Look, a swimming smurf. Soon all the smurfs will be swimming. <laughs> my special cheese sauce. <laughs> to me. Oh! oh, no! This is not the way I wanted to go! Thanks to Handy Power, I think you have it smurfed. Now try swimming with Grouchy Power. I hate Grouchy Power. It's all the Smurfs' fault. If it weren't for those little blue baboons, I wouldn't have this miserable. Aha, uh, 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 that's it. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a genius I am. Oh, I'm evil. Medieval. And when I'm finished, they all will have to say, 
there ran the wizard, the wickedest wizard, and the luckiest, duckiest wizard of the day. Hey! <laughs> Those water brain smurfs will never recognize us in this. <laughs> Now you look like a real swimmer. How is Grouchy's new bathing suit gonna help? You'll see. Uh, maybe you can swim in the clumsy way, Grouchy. Like, uh, me. So much for the clowns away. We've tried everything, Papa Smurf, and nothing's working. Maybe Grouchy's just too afraid to swim. I think what Grouchy really needs is some motivation. Something that will make him want to swim. All I want to do now is dry off. <laughs> I told you this would be fun, Asriel. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Oh, <laughs> Smurf on the phone now. Quack, quack, quack. <sighs> Baby. But I'm afraid to swim. Quack, quack, quack. <sighs> Look, Asriel. It's Baby Smurf. A tasty little treat. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. <gasps> Baby. Baby. My first smurf will be tender, even if it isn't very big. <laughs> quack, quack, quack! That's no ordinary quack. That's Gorgamil! Baby! <laughs> Baby! What a bonus, Azriel. Two smurfs, one for each of us. <laughs> I hate Gorgamil! Grouchy can do it all by himself. Hooray! You're not just a swimmer, Grouchy. You're a hero. <laughs> I guess it was my Smurfy swim o that taught Grouchy how to swim. Oh, no. It was my poem. It was my cupcake. You're all wrong. He was inspired by his new bathing suit. Mm, I'm inspired by that hat. Oh, mm, All of you did a fine job of teaching, my little Smurfs. <laughs> Even clumsy. But Grouchy couldn't swim a stroke before Pappy. How did he save Baby's life? Well, Sesset, when someone you love is in danger, you quickly forget your own fears. Love gives you the power to smurf things you ordinarily can't smurf. Oh, I guess love is the smurfiest thing in the whole world. Huh, Pappy Smurf? Grouchy! Hey, Grouchy, come on, let's go! It's time to come out of the water! I hate coming out of the water, because now I can swim. Behold, Asriel, the first day of spring. Spring with its flowers, its birds, its sunshine, it's... it's disgusting! Oh, an entire winter has passed and I haven't captured a single smurf! But wait! All this sickening sweetness has given me a brilliant idea! It may be spring, but those rotten little smurfs will never see summer! <laughs> Ah, uh, spring is in the air. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's probably just spring fever, a harmless phenomenon. Yoo-hoo! Hi, Papa Smurf! Hey, Smurfette! Hi, Smurfette! Hi, Smurfette! So much for the harmless theory. Hey, Smurfette! These are for you. No, 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 I apologize for their behavior, Smurfette. Uh, uh, but if you do decide to marry, uh, <laughs> you might consider an older, more mature uh, Smurf of the world. Well, I... Just think, you'd be known as Mama Smurf. Well, I... And not only that... Uh, I, I, I have to be uh, smurfing along now. <sighs> If only I were 450 years younger. <laughs> There's nothing like a lovely spring surprise to snare a Smurfette. And once I have that little blue double crosser in my clutches, I will use her to do what I created her to do. Destroy the Smurfs! I don't blame you for getting all choked up, Azriel. It's my most brilliant plan ever! Borrow your uh, exercise machines? Oh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, that's funny. I wonder if... No, nah, he's too old. She loves me. She loves me now. She loves me. She loves me. She loves me now. She loves me She loves me now. She loves me now. Oh, this is getting serious. I'd better talk to Papa Smurf. She loves me? Yeah, she loves me not. She loves me? Yeah, she loves me not. Coming! Yes? Uh, oh, a Smurfette. Papa Smurf, I think it's time I made a choice and picked which Smurf I'll marry. Yes, and, and? And, so I'm going to go for a long walk and think. Oh. When I return, I'll announce my decision. Uh, just remember, my dear, youth isn't the only thing to consider. Eek! Oh, you startled me. What a pretty flower. Smurfette, we've been expecting you. Now, here's what you're going to do. You... I know I can... You might as well all go home. Smurfette's gonna pick me. You're off your Smurf, Hefty. She's gonna pick me. You mean me? Oh, Poor little Smurfs don't realize that... This time, they're outclassed. Well, 
Smurfette. Have you decided which Smurf you're going to uh, marry? I sure have. I've chosen Handy because of his brain. Handy? And I've chosen Hefty for his brawn. Hefty? Uh, Smurfette, couldn't you narrow your decision down to, to just one Smurf? Oh, I'm sure they can work this out between them and may the best Smurf win. <laughs> She means me, Handy. Oh, no, I was her first choice. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She picked Handy. No, she picked Hefty. Oh, that's right. right. You picked Handy. You're up there, Handy. A one and a two and a three and a... Smurf at the choice is clear. The Smurf of your dreams is here. Forget about Hefty and all the... A one and a two and a three and a... Smurf at the choice is clear. A Smurf of your dreams is here. Of your dreams is here. Forget about Hefty and all the rest. Yours truly handy is still the best. The only spark for you. The only spark for you. Is one who is too blue, as smurf as me. My name is Happy. Smurf at the choice is clear. The smurf of your dreams is here. The only choice for you is one who is too blue. Forget about Happy and all the rest. Handy is still the best. As smurf as me. My name is Happy. So let's say I do. Wait a minute. You just I can't you can't do it. it. Smurf, you can't do it. What's the matter with you, Smurfs? Now go home and get some sleep. Smurfette, this fighting has got to stop. Oh. But isn't it romantic, Papa Smurf? <laughs> I sense great evil in this flower. Gargamel! Hum de dum de dum. Brainy, what are you doing? Papa Smurf's orders. I'm smurfing a line through the center of the village to keep Hefty's group and Handy's group from fighting over you. Oh, Brainy, I just love the way you paint. It's so, so smurfly. Really? <laughs> yes. May I help? Well, uh, sure. Hum de dum de dum. Uh, a little more to the right, Brainy. Thanks, Smurfette. Hum de dum de dum. That's it. 
now to the left. Right you are. Hum de dum de dum. I hate hum de dum de dum. I must find a way to break Gargamel's spell on Smurfette before my little Smurfs destroy the village and each other. Hum de dum de dum. Hum de dum de dum. Hum de dum de dum. Really? What do you think you're doing? Papa's orders. You and your rowdy friends are to stay on this side of the line until... I'm gonna tell Papa Smurf on you. And when Papa Smurf hears about this, he... Papa Smurf! My, my. If it's not dear, sweet, handy, and hefty, letting a little old line stand in your way. Uh, uh, it's not my way. But I dare you to smurf over this line, Handy. Well, Handy? Uh, um, uh, uh, oh, yeah? Smurfs will be Smurfs. Eureka! I've smurfed it. Smurfette, my dear little Smurfette. Look, I found a cure for your... Stop! Stop! It's gone, and they won't even listen to me anymore. There's only one thing left to do. <laughs> Smurfette should have those rotten little Smurfs at each other's throats by now. We'll boil a pot of water and be ready to make Smurf soup. <laughs> Papa Smurf! Uh, uh, hello, Gargamel. <laughs> Your days of Smurfing are over, Papa Smurf. Uh, just a moment. Uh, let's discuss this calmly. Oh, very well. But you won't leave here alive. <laughs> well, Gargamel? I'm having serious problems with my Smurfs. Yes, I know. And I need you to look into my eyes. That's perfect. Tit for tat, make this like that. What? What, what, what happened? We have exchanged physical appearances, Gargamel. But, but, but that's dishonest. That's what it is! Dishonest! You swindler! You cheat! You phony! Obvious! Got! Obvious, you far brain! If you want to eat a smurf, eat him! Leave me alone! I want to be you again. I mean me again. Gargamel again. I don't want to stay like this. Don't worry, neither do I. When I've restored peace to the Smurf village, we'll change back. How? By looking into each other's eyes again and reciting the magic spell. Well, then, then look into my eyes now. Flick, flack, change me back. No, 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 that's not it. A bit back, make me... Oof. Did you hurt yourself? Don't touch me, you disgusting Smurf. What a wizard! All for Smurf and Smurf for all! Come on, you Smurfs! All together now! Charge! Get out of the hell! Don't worry, Smurf! Oh dear, they're attacking me! Oh, I'm so scared! It's working! They've stopped fighting one another! Oh, they've got me! That rotten Papa Smurf! He's ruining my bad name! But I'll bet the spell to change me back is somewhere in Papa Smurf's lab! Well, let's see. Better homes and potions. No, 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 that's not it. Uh, magical spells for blue or blues. No, no, no. Aha! The art of physical change! I knew I'd find it! <laughs> Smurf! 
Norfolk's not tight. Drive those snakes deep. Take that and that and that. Poor Master Gargamel. I must save him. <laughs> well done, little Smurfs. Now you know that united we Smurf, divided we fall. <laughs> and now you can untie me because I'm not really Gargamel. I'm your own dear Papa Smurf. Sure, and I'm Smurfette. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I'm serious. Now untie me. Nothing smurfing, Gargamel. Oh, stop them, Papa Smurf. You're so strong and brave and fair and... Get lost, you little worm. I'm Gargamel, and I don't need you anymore. Gar Gargamel? See this? I found your secret spell. Gargamel! Now look into my eye. Never! No, wait! Did foot hat meet this like that? He is Gargamel! Oh, I feel so guilty! Run, my dear little Smurfs! I've got you, and I'll get the rest of you too! <laughs> Go ahead, run! You can't escape me! Get ready! Here he comes! Oh, rat! Where did they go? Ha-ha! <laughs> Ready-made Smurf kebab! <laughs> I, 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 I hate Smurf kebab! Smurf for your lives! This is not logical! Papa Smurf is Gargamel! Or is Gargamel Papa Smurf? Because if Gargamel isn't Papa Smurf, then Gargamel is... Gargamel! Run for your Smurfs! This way! <laughs> We're Smurf for sure. I don't get it. If you want to eat a Smurf, eat him and leave me alone. Ouch! Stop, Azriel! What are you doing? Ouch! Oh. Go on, Azriel! Smurf him away! Good kitty! Never mind that, Smurfs. Let's get back to the village, fast! You fur-brained feline, look what you've done! You've let all the Smurfs escape! Oh, no matter! Now I know where the village is. <laughs> it's this way. I remember it distinctly. Then I turn right at this tree... Uh, or is it left? Uh, then right again, and again... Uh, funny. I, I don't remember this. Ah, there it is ahead! <laughs> My own hovel? Oh, no! Oh, those rotten, miserable little blue beggars have done it again! <laughs> Someday I'll get them! Someday! How nice to see my good little Smurfs happy once more. Hi, Papa Smurf. Smurfy day, huh? Hello, Smurfette. Yes, it... Hey, Smurfette! Hi, Smurfette! Hey, hey, Smurfette. Hey, Smurfette. Hey, Smurfette. Uh, so, uh, who are you gonna marry, Smurfette? It's me! Yes, it's me! Yes, you'll marry me! Oh, okay. you'll marry me. Yes. Well, um, I, uh... How about someone short, blue, and handsome, Smurfette? Well, I... No, she's going to marry me, aren't you, Smurfette? But I... Uh... You're all Smurf in the head. It's me she loves. But no, you mean me. Me. No, me. 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 Stop. Cease. Hold it. There will be no more of this. Smurfette, you must make a final decision once and for all. I, I, I've already thought it over, Papa Smurf. And I've decided. Yes? That I'm too young to get married. Oh. Besides... I could never pick just one of you. Because I love you all. Yay! Oh, no! As a wise Murph once said, there's always next spring. Oh, 
have a hard day in the field, Smurfs? You said it, Handy. That's for Smurf. I'm exhausted. You don't know the Smurf of it. I hate hard days. Hey, what happened to Lazy? He was supposed to help me and Grouchy pick Farmer Smurf's crops. Oh, you call Hefty. I hate Lazy. Oh, it took me hours just to fill this one cart with Smurf berries. There must be a better way to gather food. There must be a faster way. An easier way. Oh. Yeah, I just wish we knew what it was. Hmm, a better way. A faster way. An easier way. <laughs> Fellow Smurfs, I have built a new machine to help you in the fields. Ooh. I call it my Smurfomatic picking machine. How does it Smurf, Andy? I'll show you, Papa Smurf. Old Nick Smurf, they had a farm. E-I-E-I -E Smurf. And on his farm, he's great Smurf! See, Papa Smurf? It can pick anything. Crops, Smurf berries. I must say it's very Smurfy, Handy. And it'll bring everything right to your house for cooking. Handy, I think your machine is going to be very popular. Come on, Smurf it up, Smurf it up, Smurf it up, Smurfette. The machine will be here soon with another load. I am, Greedy, I am. Move, Hefty, move, move. I'm Smurfing as fast as I can, Greedy. I hate Smurfing as fast as I can. Oh, no! It's here! Ah! Hello in there. Everything Smurfy with the picking machine? A little too Smurfy, Handy. I hate machines. Hmm. Handy! Smurfs are trying to sleep around here. Sorry, Papa Smurf. I'll try to be quieter. Please do. Sorry, Papa Smurf. <laughs> uh, thank you, Harmony. My fellow Smurfs, I will now unveil my latest and greatest invention. Ooh. It's Smurferific! It's Smurfandus! Oh, it's Smurfastic! It's Wonder Smurf! It's... Um... <laughs> It's a Smurfomatic food processing complex. Of course, it's a Smurfomatic food processing complex. What did you think it was? I knew that right away. I said to myself, Rainy, that's a Smurfomatic. Can I help it if I'm perceptive? <clears throat> now watch every Smurf. years, I have never smurfed anything like it. Thanks, Papa Smurf. We'll never have to work for our food again. Hey! Oh, these will never, never do. Hey, Vanity, what's wrong with those cakes? Waste not, want not. I'm afraid the color of the icing clashed with my utterly smurfy complexion. I'm waiting for something in a nice purple. Mmm! Mmm! Oh, mmm! Greedy, what's wrong with your food? Oh, I can't decide what to eat. But you shouldn't be wasting it. Why? There's plenty of food around. But that's not... Help! That's first help! 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 That's first do something! I'll save your brain! What's smurfing on here? Help! Gosh, is 
Is every Smurf all right? Of course every Smurf's all right, thanks to me. It's a good thing I kept calm while the rest of you were panicking. You see, that's what Papa Smurf admires about me. He always says that I'm a... board leader. Look at all this wasted food. Oh, don't be no Smurf in the mud, Handy. We have plenty of food. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> I'll never forget the look on Brady's face. <laughs> Little Smurfs seem to be developing some bad habits. No more crops left, Farmer Smurf? They're gone, Handy. And I'm afraid it'll be a few more months before new ones grow. That machine of yours is some picker. A few months? I'd better check the Smurf berry patches. Great Smurf! No Smurf berries left either. Greedy! Greedy! Greedy, how much food do you have stored? Huh? Don't you have anything stored? No, but I'm expecting another delivery any minute. Save what you can. We're running out of food. Oh, no, 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 no. Too pink. Oh, my. That will never do either. Vanity, vanity. Is this all the food you have left? At the moment. But I've ordered something in chartreuse. Save everything you can. We're almost out of food. Oh, how absurd. I'd laugh if it didn't give me wrinkles. <laughs> from your smurf matic food processor. It's all been wasted. The Smurf berries are all gone. The storehouse is empty. And Farmer Smurf says no new crops for months. I'm sure you're getting all smurfed up over nothing, Handy. Now, let me get back to my work. But Papa Smurf, I... Not now. Talk to me later, Handy. Right on schedule. Huh? Hey, where's my food? Hey, where's my... The machine's coming! The food machine's going! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wait! My Smurf berries! Hey! Where are you going? Smurf back here! You forgot to Smurf me some food! I'm hungry! What's Smurfing on? I didn't get a thing today! Me neither! What happened? Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 Come with me, Clumsy. I know what to do. Gee, Brady, maybe Handy's right. Maybe there is no food left. No, no, no. He's just making excuses because the smurf o -matic watching him a smurf it is the smurfing right. What he needs is a mechanical genius like me to fix it. Now, let's see. This doesn't look right. Uh, maybe you should wait till Handy's here, Brainy. Don't be silly, Clumsy. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh! Oh, I think we better smurf out of here, Brainy. Clumsy, I am surprised at you. Don't you want my opinion on what we should do? Well, uh, well, sure, Brainy. What do you think we should do? I think we should smurf out of here. <laughs> Brainy, so you're the one who broke my smurf fanatic food processor. No, I was just trying to fix it. One smurf berry. Is that all the food left? How can 100 Smurfs eat that? 
Uh, we could share. Maybe some Smurf should hold on to it for uh, Smurf keeping. I'll do it. I smurfed it first. No, you didn't. I did. I'm hungry. Oh, hey, 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 hey. oh no. It's going to Smurf. Clear machine. Run, Smurf. I can help. Papa a Smurf. But what can you do? Come, my little Smurfs. Ooh! Ah! Papa Smurf, why didn't you tell me you had all this food? This could last us for weeks. I wanted the others to learn a lesson, Handy. And I hope you have learned a lesson. Yes, Papa Smurf. And the next time Handy builds such a Smurfy machine, you will, I trust, Use it wisely. Yes, Papa Smurf. All right then, my little Smurfs. Let's eat. <laughs> well done, my little Smurfs. Well done. This will be the biggest float in the history of our autumn carnival. Oh, Papa Smurf. I only hope we can find a bunny big enough to pull it in the parade. There's another load of Smurf berries, Papa Smurf. This year's crop will be a real bumper. Thanks to you, Farmer. Papa Smurf! <laughs> Papa Smurf! Nat says I can help him find the big bunny to pull the float. Golly, Papa Smurf, can I really? Of course you can, Clumsy. After all, Nat's the chairman of the Bunny Selection Committee. Oh, gosh, Papa Smurf! I'm so... I hate weeds. Do you know what miserable, rotten day tomorrow is, Azriel? Well, do you? Yeah. I thought not, you ignorant, stupid cat. It says right here in my almanac of 101 nauseating days of the year that tomorrow is the worst of them all, the Smurf Autumn Carnival. Yeah. Each year, the Smurfs go out in the woods and select a big bunny for the honor of pulling their harvest float and its traditional cargo of six Smurfs. Yeah. Hmm. Six Smurfs? Why, that's enough to make gold. Hmm. Azriel, I have a magnificent idea. <laughs> Will you please stop wiggling, Vanity? Will you please stop wiggling? How do you expect me to fit your costume when you hop around like a nervous toad? Oh, no, this will never do, Taylor. It just isn't me. So what's wrong now, Mr. Persnickety? Everything. The peacock feathers are too short. The collars are all wrong. The... Enough already. I've still got five more costumes to fit, and I'm way behind schedule. Stop, Butterfly, I'll make these antennae keep falling down in my face. What? I said my costume doesn't fit. The head's too tight, the pants are too long, and I keep tripping over my paws. I hate being a frog. Please, everybody stop complaining or I'll scream. I'll fry a few and pickle a few and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few and roast a few and boil the rest for gold. Hey, this is it, Azriel. Behold, the biggest bunny in the forest. <laughs> Hold still, you miserable wretch. From now on, you'll act like a bunny and be a bunny, or you'll wind up in a stew. Now, let's see you hop. A uh, bunny meadow. How I love to sometimes just sit here and contemplate Mother Nature's miracles. But golly, man, I don't see any miracles anywhere. Are you all right, Clumsy? Uh, yep, and I found a whole family of rabbits. Come on down. <laughs> this is Mrs. Rabbit, Nat, and Mr. Rabbit's out making carrots. Oh, what a lovely family you have, Mrs. Rabbit. Do you think Mrs. Rabbit's big enough to pull the float, huh, Nat? I'm afraid not, Clumsy. But you're more than welcome to come watch our carnival parade, Mrs. Rabbit. Hurry along, you bumble bunny. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. Just keep smurfing around the bunny meadow for big bunny, and I'll check the carrot patches. Sure thing, Nat. Hey, bunny! Hey, bunny, bunny, bunny! Hey, bunny, bunny, bunny! <sighs> so 
call. What do you think? I don't know. It just doesn't make me look wise. What are you expecting? Miracles? Now what is it? My feathers look awful. The feathers I'll fix. My pants are too big. The pants I'll take in. I look like the rat. So I'll get you some cheese. <laughs> You don't like my work? It's fine. You can all make your own costumes. I quit. You quit? Now, see what you made him do? Hey, bunny, bunny! Hey, bunny, bunny, bunny! Oh, clumsy. You don't find bunny rabbits under rocks. Uh, oh! Oh, I'm a happy bunny, tra la 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 la. A great big happy bunny, tra la 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 la. Hop, you stupid cat, hop, hop, hop. Oh, I'm a happy bunny, tra la 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 la. A great big happy bunny, tra la 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 la. Gosh, a singing bunny. And a big one, too. Just what Papa Smurf wanted. <laughs> yup. You better chew that carrot and wiggle your nose and hop your little heart out, or I'll turn you into a rug. Gosh, Mr. Bunny, how'd you get so big? Why, I eat big carrots. Little Bunny eat little carrots. Oh, could you pull the Smurf float for us tomorrow in the parade? Could you, huh? Why, I'd be honored. Uh, you might say it's a golden opportunity for me. <laughs> Uh, that's great! The parade starts at the edge of the Smurf Fairy Patch when the sun... Uh... The sun... Comes up? Uh, yep! When the sun comes up! I'll be there! You have no idea what this means to me! Gosh, that's wonderful, Mr. Rabbit! Every Smurf will be real pleased! A bunny that talks and sings! Gee! What did I tell you, Azriel? It worked! <laughs> Oh, I'll fry a few and pickle a few and serve a few real coal. Then I'll toast a few and roast a few and boil the rest for gold. Hey! Oh, what will we do, Papa Smurf? Kayla Epps and Smurf leave refuses to finish our costume. Looks like we'll have to call the whole thing off. I hate calling the whole thing off. I say we forget, Taylor, and make our own costumes, if you want my advice. I hate your advice. Now, now, my little Smurfs, let's have no more of this arguing. But Papa Smurf! Costumes are not important. A Smurfy autumn holiday is. I will go talk to Taylor, but I really think you owe him an apology. Go away. It's Papa Smurf, Taylor. Oh, sorry, Papa Smurf. Please come in. And I don't blame you for being upset after all your work, but I... Papa Smurf, are you in there? Ooh, I found him, Papa Smurf, a real big, big bunny to pull our float, and, and he... Oh, we're so sorry we gave you a bad time about our costumes, Taylor. Taylor? You are? So we came to apologize. You did? It wasn't fair the way we ganged up on you, all complaining. I hate complaining. Well, I wasn't very smurfy myself. I shouldn't have lost my temper. And if we hurry, there's still time to finish the costumes. Yay! Oh, Taylor, how sweet of you. That's a fine idea, Taylor, as long as you finish my costume first. How do you like your costume now, Mr. Peacock? Well, uh... It's fine. Terrific. Couldn't be smurfier. We're almost done. Just put a few more berries along the top. Ah, an excellent job, my little smurfs. Thank you, Papa Smurf. Now, I suggest you all get a good night's rest, because tomorrow is the big day. Nothing can go wrong now. You hide while I go and collect my float full of Smurfs. And if any of those little blue beasts try to get away, you pounce on them, understand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, everybody! Here comes our bunny! I told you he was big! He's not just big, he's humongous! Oh, Papa Smurf, I am so proud of Clumsy for finding the big bunny. Well, Matt, clumsy means well and tries hard. It's nice to see him succeed at something. That's it. Whoa! All set, ready to roll. There's something very familiar about this bunny. <laughs> <laughs>
pull the bunny, it's running away. Don't you just love a parade? <laughs> That's Gargamel. Nat, we need the help of your forest friends. Yes, Papa Smurf. I'll try to follow the float. Save your breath, you little twits. We're almost home. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most brilliant scheme of my life, eh, Azriel? Yay! Take the Smurfs! They're much tastier than an old rabbit like me! I don't understand why this keeps happening to me. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, it's locked! Uh, where's my key? You don't want to eat an old bunny like me. Why, I'm all bone and gristle, and I'm tough as a boot! No, not so fast. Remember, you'll get the hiccups if you bulge your food. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll get some seasoning to make me tastier for you. A little salt, a dash of oregano, a sprig of parsley. Oh, Papa Smurf, we can't let them eat this poor, miserable creature. Of course not. All right, my friends, let him be. The bunnies are very rare and should be allowed to live. <sighs> and now, Nat, we have a parade to Smurf. <laughs> What happened, Papa Smurf? I, I, I guess I didn't do a very good job on the Big Bunny Committee. On the contrary, Clumsy, you did an excellent job. Look! Oh, golly! Gosh, it's Mrs. Rabbit and her bunny! Aren't the bunnies cute? Happy Carnival! Happy Carnival! I hate Carnival! From now on, I'm staying in bed on Autumn Carnival Day. And if I never see a bunny suit again, it'll be too soon. Take off that ridiculous costume, you stupid cat! Oh, Vanity, is there anything more beautiful than wild roses? Yes, me. Oh, I just love the red ones, and the yellow ones, and the pink ones, and... Since you love them so much, why don't we pick a dozen and take them home? Oh, no, I'd never cut wild roses. They're simply too lovely. Besides, I have plenty of my own flowers. Oh, vanity. Look at this white rose. Oh, it's absolutely exquisite. That rose would have to be blue to even come close to my beauty. Oh, vanity, you're so... Come to think of it, I've never seen that blue rose, have you? Fetch! Good puppy, good puppy! <laughs> Stay! Stay! Okay, fetch! Look out below! Smurf below! Oh, my Smurfness! I forgot! She'll never forgive me! What's the matter, Susset? Well, you'd better do it now. It's awful hot. I'm gonna be in hot water if Smurfette's flowers die. But, Vanity, why can't there be a blue rose? Because, Smurfette, there is no such thing. But why not? I don't know. Why don't you ask Farmer? Maybe he knows why there are no blue roses. Blue roses, huh? Well, Smurfette, I reckon you'll be asking the impossible. Oh, Farmer, are you sure? Uh, yep. Impossible. I gave up trying to go after the Blue Rose over 90 years ago. Oh. Well, thank you, Farmer. My pleasure. Wish I could be more help, but the rose is a rose is a rose. Forever. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I wish I could give you a rose that is blue. Oh, poet, that's sweet. But wishing in poetry won't get me a blue rose. Roses are red. Painter has blue. Maybe he'll paint a blue rose for you. <sighs> Thanks, poet. Maybe he will. Bye. Roses are red. Smurfette is blue. Oh, boo-hoo. What will she do? 
Sacre bleu! Non, non, non! Do I paint the sky yellow? Do I paint the grass pink? Do I paint the sun green? No, no, no! I do not paint the rose blue! Not for you, not for anybody, never! Oh, I do hope Papa Smurf can help me. Come in! Oh, it's so hot! I hope Smurfette's flowers are okay! I'm afraid I can't help you, Smurfette. You mean I'll never see a blue rose? If Mother Nature had intended for roses to be blue, she would have made one long ago. Uh, I guess you're right, Papa Smurf. Thank you. It's not a good idea to set your heart on something you can't have, Smurfette. I know, Papa Smurf. Why don't you enjoy the flowers in your garden? They're beautiful. I'll try, Papa Smurf. But they aren't as beautiful as a blue rose would be. Oh! <laughs> oh, my poor flowers! They're all dead! Oh, no! Smurfette, I'm so sorry! Please let me! No! You've had quite enough for one day! Thank you! I said I'm sorry! I'm only trying to... So what could the sorry do? You promised to water my flowers! You're never supposed to break a promise! Never, never, never! Oh, please, Smurfette! I didn't mean to break my promise! Can I help? Can I do something? No! Why don't you just smurf back to wherever you Thanks, Smurfies. At least they didn't all die. Don't you think you were a little hard on her? Nah. How else is the little Smurfling gonna learn anything? But Sasset didn't mean to break her promise. A promise is a promise. How do you think Sasset feels? Who cares? She'll get over it. But I was depending on her. Oh. <laughs> you have as much chance of finding a dependable Smurfling as you do of finding a blue rose. A blue rose. Blue rose. <laughs> you awake? Oh, Sasset, I'm so sorry for blowing my smurf and being so mean. Oh, I'm sorry, too. It was all my fault. It was my fault, too. Where are you going? To see Mother Nature. I'll tell you all about it when I get back. Will you water my flowers tomorrow morning? Oh, yes, of course I will. And I promise I won't forget. La, 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 la. I tell you, Smurfette, you should not be doing this. It's a bad idea. Nonsense. A blue rose is a very, very, very good idea. It's against nature. Ah, you have no imagination. Oh, dear. But Mother Nature, I don't understand why I can't have a blue rose. The sky is blue, my eyes are blue, bluebells are blue. Because, my dear, there is just so much blue to go around. And if I create just one blue rose, then I must take the color from something else. Well, what would be wrong with that? Will the world come to an end if there's one less bluebell, or one less violet, or one less cornflower? Mother Nature, I'd do anything for a blue rose, just to see a blue rose. Oh, all right, Smurfette. But you must promise never to cut it. Oh, I promise, Mother Nature, I promise. I'll do this for you, Smurfette, just this once. But remember, everything has a price. I've chosen this rose. It's the most beautiful of all. Kemp, oh, Mother Nature, I was right. No, 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 Smurfette. I must advise against this. Oh, go ahead. What do you got to lose? It's wrong. It's right. Oh, Mother Nature, all was right. I stand before this rose so white. I've made my promise. My heart is true. Delight my eyes with one rose blue. Wow! A blue rose! Oh, don't go away. I'll be right back. Oh, a blue rose. Oh, golly! Oh, farmer, I made a blue rose. Oh, I can hardly wait to show vanity. Hey, care, Smurfette. You're looking a bit pale. Vanity, vanity, oh, come see. Oh, up the forest, a blue rose, my rose. I've already named it Smurfette's Rose. Isn't that terrific? Smurfette, what in the world has happened to you? Your face, your skin, you're white. Absolutely, unquestionably, yuck, white. It's bad enough she's turned white, but does she have to wear so much perfume? Oh, I feel so sorry for Smurfette. And she's turned white and smells like a rose, and, and, and bees are trying to get in, and... Oh, Papa Smurf, what's happened? Will she stay that way forever? Oh, my. Poor Smurfette. <laughs> How can you even touch me? Oh, Smurfette, don't be silly. We're friends forever, even if you are white. 
<laughs> I'm so unhappy. I'll never show my face again. Oh, Go away. Smurf, may I come in? No, I don't want you to see me. My poor little Smurfette, whatever have you done? It's all the fault of that stupid rose. And Mother Nature, she's to blame, too. And Saturday, and... Oh, no. No, it's none of that. It's all my fault. Oh, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, is there anything you can do? Please, can you help me? Tell me what happened, Smurfette, and start at the beginning. Gosh, smells like all the roses in the world. Oh, it's a bit much, if you ask me. Those bees are dangerous. We'll have to do something. I might have expected this kind of behavior from a Smurfling, but Smurfette... Ah, here we are. Promise, promisee, promiser, promisor. I stayed up all night, Smurfette. Hope it works. Is it comfortable? Oh, thank you, Handy Taylor. It's very comfortable. We've all been down to see the blue rose. I reckon it's amazing. Golly, it sure is blue. Well, I've never seen a blue rose before. I hate the blue rose. I hate the blue rose. I hate the blue rose, too. Oh, Papa Smurf, the poor dear. I knew this would happen. I'm telling you, Mother Nature, sometimes I just don't know about the younger generation. Well, I know how you feel, Papa Smurf. I suppose I can help you just this once. This is what you do, Papa Smurf. First you... And if the blue rose dies on its vine, you will remain white forever. Only if you cut the rose and prick your finger with its thorn can you be blue again. But then I'll have to break my promise to Mother Nature. It would seem, Smurfette, that sometimes, if a greater good is at stake, promises must be broken. The final decision is yours. Psst, Smurfette, where are you going? To the Blue Rose. Can I go with you? No, it's too embarrassing. Please, please, you need a friend right now. Promise you won't look at me? Promise. to do this, I said, especially after all that stuff I said to you about keeping promises. I think I understand. Oh, Blue Rose, Blue Rose, pity me. Oh, Mother Nature, hear my plea. Like sun and moon and evening star, we each of us are what we are. Please, Mother Nature, set me free. Free of the promise I made to thee. Who needs birthdays? 
having a birthday on Halloween is stupid. Stupid! Can't imagine what Mummy was thinking of. Well, there'll be no party here. Never has been, never will be. <laughs> Halloween! Bah! Birthdays! Bah! And you think those rotten Smurfs will be having a party? Ouch! Stupid fly! To think those little blue beasts will be celebrating and giving thanks for a good harvest! It's enough to make me throw up. <laughs> I'll harvest them! I'll harvest their little blue heads right off! Stop all that happiness out there! Do you hear? Stop it! Oh, well. Perhaps Mummy will send some hard raisins. She did last year. And one for Greedy, and one for Vanity, and one for Hefty, and one for Smurf, and one for... <laughs> one for Ray! <laughs> oh, I just love Halloween. Don't you, Harold? I'm so looking forward to frightening the little children. <laughs> Maybe they'll cry. Oh, they get such a good scare. <laughs> Sometimes it takes years for the little dears to get over it. <laughs> Some of them never get over it. Yes, my pet, soon, soon we shall fly across the hallowed moon and swoop down on the sleeping villagers. Let them hand out their garlic. Let them say their prayers. Let them do what they like. But there is no warding off Hogatha the witch. <laughs> Lazy Smurf, take Jokey's cart out into the forest and see if you can find some red leaves for decorations. Yes, Papa Smurf. Hurry, soon it will be time for Jokey's birthday party. Yes, Papa Smurf. Ah. As I have been saying, Papa Smurf, Lazy's lack of a sense of social responsibility is appalling. I was telling Smurfette just the other day that Papa Smurf... Goodbye, safe journey! Oh, I do hate to see them go. Oh, well, they'll be back. Uh, uh, now, now, where was I? Oh, yes, the leaves. Oh, they're so lovely. My darlings, you look so lovely just the way you are, but time marches on, you know. Sleep, my little ones. Sleep until next year. Oh, these miserable corns. Now what? Some imbecile child looking for a Halloween treat? I'll give them a treat. I'll give them a good rap on the knuckles with my stick. Well, what have we here? Someone remembered my birthday after all. Well, let's see now. Uh, who could it be from? Uh, Mummy? Godfather? Uh, perhaps? Ah, I wonder. Happy birthday, Gargamel! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Humiliate me, will they? I'll give you a Halloween! I'll give you a present! <laughs> There isn't a red leaf in sight. All this work has made me sleepy. Oh, maybe a little nap. Oh, maybe when I wake up, the leaves will be red. Well, I will. You worthless cat, letting him get away. You'll go without for that failure. Ah, here we are. I'll show those rotten Smurfs. Mock my birthday, will they? I'll show them. They'll never forget this Halloween. They'll never forget it. Sleep well. Oh, I love this spot. Oh, dear. 
dear, oh dear. Oh, oh, look at me, look at me. Oh, I'm so sorry, really. Do something, can't you do something? Well, I, and, well, I'd like to, but you see, Autumn cannot wait, you know. Oh, change me back to blue. Well, I can't make you blue with a red wand. Oh, my. I don't even own a blue wand. What color have you got? Well, there's a red, obviously, and white, and yellow, and green. How about green? Blue. Oh, you poor dear. You've got to do something right now. Well, I can't do anything now. I have work to do. Autumn cannot wait. Father Time likes things just so. You can't undo me? A red wand is a red wand, you know. Uh, perhaps when I'm finished. Uh, uh, perhaps this winter. Uh, uh, maybe next spring at the latest. You just run along home and wait for me. I shan't be too long, but uh, first things first, you know. This is horrible. Look at me. I can't go home again.
going on up there? Who is that? It's me. Who? Hagatha! Cockamel! What are you doing up there, you ugly old crone? Crone? <laughs> nice weather we're having. A fine example of my superior magic, don't you think? Oh, you did this. You're the reason I'm missing Halloween. You spoiled our Hallow's Eve. Why? Why? Just to spite those stupid Smurfs? Don't you realize I spent an entire year getting ready for this one night? Don't you realize if I don't make my rounds, the little children might even be disappointed that they like being frightened? So you see, Father Time, the poor little creature is all red. I just don't know what to do. He's so ashamed. He'll probably miss Jokey's birthday party. You are well aware time cannot be turned back. The idea is unthinkable. My own fault, really. I should have looked before I zapped. Oh, there must be something we can do. Nothing. Now, Father, the least you can do is try. To go back in time? Mother, this is a serious matter. More than serious, it just isn't done. Perhaps you could go back and get my other wands. Mother, I have more important things to do than fetch wands. There's a jar of snuff berry jam in the cupboard. Uh, there is? Get him, Asriel, get him! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 what have we here? A red smurf? A red smurf? <laughs> well, what have you got to say for yourself, eh? I wonder how it happened. I wonder if this condition changes the chemical composition. He's mine, anyway. Do you suppose one red smurf is the equivalent of six blue ones? I saw him first. No, 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 he's mine. Mine? Mine! Hefty, you take a group to Gargamel's and see if he's there. Yes, Papa Smurf. Smurfette, organize a group and go with me. We'll search the forest. Yes, Papa Smurf. And the rest of you. Yes, yes Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf. Put away those umbrellas. Yes, Papa Smurf. My dear Hagatha, why don't we work this out like reasonable people? If you don't give him to me, I'll turn you into a toad. We could share. What's share? We could each make use of him. Oh, let's cut him in half. Good, uh, I think. Uh, where will we do it? Your place or mine? Well, obviously your bird is in no condition to fly and it's too far to walk. Besides, my corns are acting up. I don't trust you. Just give him to me. I found him. I have him. I'll turn you into a toad. You don't have your wand. Lazy. Lazy. Lazy! He's not here! <laughs> ah, Mother, you do make fine jam! There, it's done! <laughs> How beautiful! Now I must hurry and tell dear Papa Smurf about poor little Lazy. Oh, I do wish Father Time would reconsider. Oh, hurry up! I can't stand it! Hefty, what do we do? I don't know! I hate I don't know! <laughs> Hogatha, the witch of all Hallows' Eve? And Lazy Smurf is red? Amazing! Hurry, my Smurfs, time is short. Lazy is in great danger. Oh, Papa Smurf, here's the wagon! I can't believe it. Can you believe he's asleep? What's going on? They're going to saw Lazy in half. Oh, no, they're not. This 
This idea is ridiculous. What's ridiculous about it? Well, I've been thinking. A, a red smurf is such a rarity. I, I can think of so many possibilities. Dried, for instance. He might make a wonderful chili powder. And how do we know that he's a smurf at all? I've never seen a red smurf. Oh, get on with it. Oh, Papa Smurf, we must do something. Hefty the blanket. I tell you, Hugger, that this is a mistake. If nothing else, we can hold him for ransom. It is only a matter of time before the blue Smurfs show up. Get on with it! <gasps> Listen to me, you old crone! This smurf, whatever his color, is worth more as one than he is as two! I refuse to carry out your imbecilic idea! <coughs> Look! A smurf! Oh! Another! Now! <coughs> gotcha! <coughs> what the... <coughs> Oh, they're getting <laughs> away! <laughs> hurry, hurry! <laughs> oh, you fool! This is all your fault! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it, you old crone! <laughs> Destroy my Halloween, will you? <laughs> Lazy, don't feel so bad. Red, green, purple, who cares? It's being a Smurf that counts. As I said to Papa Smurf... Brady, please. Mother Nature meant no harm, Lazy. She ruined my Halloween. No, she didn't. Look at it this way. Now you don't need a costume. <laughs> Brainy. Maybe being red has some compensations you haven't even considered yet, like... Brainy! But you must help him. Mother, there's nothing I can do. But one little smurf. Surely you can do something. Really, Father, you make the simplest thing sound so... Are you sure you had enough to eat? There's a lot more jam. More jam? Yes, more jam. Mother, you are very persuasive. Um, just this once, I'll do it. Oh, Father, you are a wonder! <coughs> Red wand, white wand, green and yellow. Change not the world, just one little fellow. Look at it this way. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I mean... Oh. Papa Smurf! What's going on here? Oh, I don't know, Papa Smurf. He was just sitting there when suddenly... I hate sunbury! Oh! I'm me again! I'm blue! Yay! Thank you, Mother Nature, wherever you are, and happy Halloween! <laughs> just in time for the party. Ooh, you're just in time for a nap, if you ask me. <laughs> We wish you a happy birthday, we wish you a happy birthday, we wish you a happy birthday and Halloween too. Smurfs here on this spring day, and I whipped up a beautiful one, if I do say so myself. We're planting smurf berry seeds, Mother Nature. Oh, yeah? And if you have any extra, we'd be happy to plant them for you. Oh, 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 how thoughtful. That's why I thought of it. Gosh, I, I thought Farmer thought of it. Whoever. Come right this way, my little friends. My Smurfs, look at all these seeds. They're from all over the world. The smooth berry seed should be somewhere on top. 
gosh, what are these, Mother Nature? What? Oh, dear. Don't worry, I'll get them. <clears throat> Here, let me see what I can do. Good work, Mother Nature. Well, at least I got one of them. That seed's jumpier than my jumping bean. That's because it's a rubber tree seed. <laughs> Gosh, the rubber tree seed. <laughs> How smurfy. You may keep it if you like. Oh, gosh, thanks, Mother Nature. <laughs> Wait till the other Smurfs see this. Until Farmer gets back, I guess there's nothing to do but relish my ravishing good looks. Oh, yes, there is, Vanity. We can put drops of Papa Smurf's magical growth formula on the seeds to make them grow faster. You go ahead. I'd rather relish. We'll need a lot more formula than that. After we plant all the seeds Mother Nature gave us. <laughs> and you should see what she gave me. <laughs> what? Gee, then this stuff's gotta be rubber sap. <laughs> it's really bouncy. Now look what you've done. Wasted all of Papa Smurf's growth formula on this useless tree. Useless? Why, well, I can think of a hundred and one things to do with rubber right off the top of my Smurf. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I was about to point out. Come on, Smurfs, let's get some pails and collect all the Smurfy rubber sap we can. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, with my little Smurfs busy planting, I can finally get the chance to catch up on my reading. Huh? Hi, Happy Smurf. Like my new shoes? My Smurfness. What's going on? And it's rubberizing the village. Just look, Papa Smurf, rubber slacks. One size fits all. Greedy, careful with those dishes. Don't worry, they're rubber, too. See, no more chips or cracks. And that's not all, Papa Smurf. Look at this. Rubber baby baggy blumpers. I, I, I mean, rubber baddy blabby bimp. Rubber bladdy bumpers. I'm having handy put them on anything that moves. <laughs> You should put a spring in your step. <laughs> My turn. Well, I don't think rubberizing your shoes is a good idea, Clumsy. Why not? Well, you have enough trouble walking in normal shoes. Golly, everybody else is bouncing, even the Smurflings. I'm sorry, Clumsy, it's for your own good. Uh, gosh, if you say so. Well, maybe we can rubberize something else, like your rock collection. So, this is the rubber sap. Pretty amazing stuff, huh? Almost too amazing. Perhaps you'd better hold off rubberizing anything else until I study it. I want to make sure it's safe. Uh, uh, 498, uh, 499, uh, 500. <laughs> Just look, Azriel. Not one drop of sweat. Not one. <laughs> All these weeks of diet and exercise have really paid off. There's no way the Smurfs can outrun me now. Mama! Oh, Hope and Horn this makes Smurf very quick and easy. With these shoes, we'll never need ladders again. <laughs> Smurfs, tonight I go off my diet. <laughs> oh, it's Gargamel! <laughs> You'll never escape the new and improved Gargamel. We're losing him, Smurfs. Egads, uh, what kind of vitamins have those little blue bean bags been taking? of exercise, and for what? As soon as I return home, I'm canceling my subscription to Muscles and Magic. Yeah. 
Cat Zooks. What's that? We'd better be getting the staff back to handy. Oh, my, yes. Smurfette alone has 20 more pairs of shoes to rubberize. So, that's how those miserable little feet take such giant leaps. Well, I can spring the same surprise. <laughs> Hmm, just as I suspected. What's that, Papa Smurf? My growth formula has given this sap magical properties. It can affect living things as well as everyday objects. We must warn the others not to touch the sap directly. Oh, gosh, it's just not fair. Every Smurf gets to bounce but me. Well, if Handy won't rubberize my shoes, then I'll do it myself. <laughs> Great Smurfs! Oh, clumsy. <laughs> Sorry, Handy. Are you all right? A uh, uh, little wobbly. Perhaps you'd better lie down. Uh, okay, Papa Smurf. <laughs> ah! Clumsy! Ah! Ah! We've got to stop him. Ah! Oi, he's headed for the forest. Grab on to something clumsy. Smurfness, we've got to save him. Oh, oh gosh, what's happened to me? Oh, my little Smurf, you've been completely rubberized. Gee, Papa Smurf, what do we do? There, that should hold him. Yeah, for now, but we can't wait Clumsy down with his rock collection forever. Hmm. This all began with Mother Nature's rubber tree seed. Maybe her magic can solve this problem. I'd better see her at once. <laughs> when it comes to cleverness, Azriel, I can outthink those Smurfs by leaps and bounds. <laughs> These springs should give me the edge on those little blue hedgehoppers. <laughs> the Smurfs will never elude me now. Oh, gosh, all I wanted to do was bounce like every other Smurf. No, I can't move at all. A little lunch should lift your spirits and always lifts mine. Hey! Ouch! No, Clumsy, don't sneeze! Sound of a simpering smurf. Gotcha! Darn him out! <laughs> oh, how easy! Just follow the bouncing smurfs. Oh, I'm evil, medieval. La di da, di da, di da. Oh, I have so many smurfs. I can try a different spice on each one. Yeah. Oh, this is all my fault. I'm so sorry. This is no time to apologize. We've got to figure a way out. And without Pappy Smurf's help. Only we can reach those keys. Hey, I bet you're clumsy, Can. Uh, you think so? Oh, sure. Just stretch your arm the way you did in the well. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gosh, I'll try. You sneaky blue freak! Uh-oh! Grab him, every Smurf! Oh! Oh! Let go! He's mine! Oh, no! Whoa! an unnatural effect on this tree. And on this smurf? Oh, don't 
worry. I'll have everything back to its natural state with a wave of my wand. Uh, I hope it doesn't hurt. I must be going now. Good luck with your smurf berries. Oh, wait, there's one more problem. Yeah, Pappy Gargamel, wherever he is. Huh? <coughs> oh, those smurfs, I hate them, I hate them. <coughs> <coughs> for inviting me to dinner, Papa Smurf. My wild Smurf berries were delicious. Yes, Muffinature, that was one of Greedy's special recipes. But they were my wild Smurf berries. <laughs> so they were, Mother Nature, so they were. Farewell, Smurfs, I must be gone. Take me home, my magic wand. <laughs> Visits with the Smurfs always make me feel so... <laughs> so Smurfy. You see, Azriel, Mother Nature's magic wand can take her to the Smurf village any time she wants. Well... Once I have that wand in my hand, I'll have Smurfs in my other hand. All I have to do is wait for my chance. Careful, Matt. Don't drop it. There's nothing worse than a broken cookie. Yeah, you said a mouthful. Here is yours, Dougie. All right. Aha! Uh -huh. Cookie smurfing, eh? <gasps> Brainy. Just wait until Greedy finds out. Better yet, wait until Papa Smurf finds out. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Papa Smurf already knows about it, Brainy. <laughs> <gasps> Papa Smurf, you a cookie smurfer? Well, <laughs> not really. Once a week, Greedy leaves cookies for us to smurf. If we wake Greedy up, he gets the cookies. It's like a little adventure without the danger. <sighs> and it helps my little smurflings learn to move quietly and work together. Oh, that is brilliant, Papa Smurf. Might I join you on your next little cookie adventure? Uh, Chatter and Chipmunks, Brainy. Brady only leaves five cookies. Besides, you don't know how to be quiet. You said a big mouthful. I can be as quiet as all you Smurflings put Shh. together. No, no. It's time good little Smurflings were in bed. Yes, Papa Smurf. I'll be along to tuck you in. Won't you be happy, Papa Smurf, when these Smurflings are all grown up like me? Who'd want to grow up like you? Is that any way to respect your elders? Respect must be earned, Brainy. Perhaps you should spend more time with the little Smurflings. I've tried, Papa Smurf, but every time I'm around, they seem to disappear. In that case, Brainy, um, have a cookie. I sure hope I'll grow up to be like Brainy. Me too. I want to grow up to be like Hefty. You can't grow up to be like Hefty. I'm going to grow up to be like Hefty. <laughs> we all grow up to be our own special Smurf, my little Smurflings. Tell you what, tomorrow, right after breakfast, I'll show you my family album, and you'll see just what I mean. Oh, Good night, my little Smurflings. Good night, Papa Smurf. Trat. She won't be going out again tonight. Unless one of her precious little creatures needs help. I want you to howl in fear, Azriel. Meow. Yes, yes, you know. Just think of the... Well, think of the time that puppy chased you up that tree with the hornet's nest in it. Mommy? Well, how about the time we went over the falls trying to find the Smurf village in that stupid canoe? Mommy! Oh, all right then. How about when we dressed up like bunny rabbits to fool the Smurfs and got chased by that pack of wolves? Mommy? Howl, you miserable flea bag! Howl! What's wrong, Kitty? Where are you? Here, Kitty, Kitty! Mother Nature will help you! Here, Kitty! Now, where would she keep that wand? A vault? A, a secret room? No, no, no. Mother Nature is a trusting sort, the old goody-goody. She would put that magic wand right here. There are four of them! 
Well, well, well. <laughs> With four magic wands, I'll be the most powerful wizard on Earth. First, I'll send myself to the Smurf secret village, where I'll destroy the Smurfs once and for all. <laughs> then, I'll simply make myself ruler of the world. I'll create a gigantic castle. Kings will bow to me and beg for mercy. <laughs> and when it's all over, perhaps I'll send Mummy on a little vacation. <laughs> After all, I'm not all bad. <laughs> Magic wands are not easy to operate, Azriel. <laughs> to become ruler of the world, I must be certain I know exactly what I'm doing. <clears throat> Most magic wands can be used to move objects, change objects into something else, or simply make them disappear. <laughs> I'll save that one for Big Mouth. <clears throat> Some magic wands can cure illnesses, control the weather, or send the wizard using the wand to any place he wishes. One travel, however, requires expert wizardry. <coughs> it should only be attempted by graduates of wizard's school. Wizard's school? <laughs> I didn't need to graduate wizard's school to become a great wizard. And I don't need a stupid book to tell me how to use a magic wand. Magic wand, prove your worth. Fly me to the village smurf. <laughs> I don't think I should have used the word fly. <sighs> Flying should never be attempted with a magic wand. <laughs> now they tell me. But with the proper chant, a good magic wand can do almost anything. Papa Smurf is absolutely smurfly right. I should spend more time with the Smurflings. Therefore, I will spend the entire day telling them why they should respect and admire me, Brainy. <laughs> <laughs> Mischief even before breakfast. Hmm, how would Papa Smurf handle this? He'd be firm, but fair. He'd tell them that such goings on are most unsmurfy. So! Papa Smurf, what are you doing? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is just the way I make sure my little Smurflings uh, get their morning exercise. Brilliant, Papa Smurf. <laughs> you have them completely fooled. No wonder they respect and admire you. I plan to spend the day showing them exactly why they should also respect and admire me, Brainy Smurf. Oh. Well, uh, that's very Smurfy, Brainy. But I promised them we'd look through my family album today. Yay! You're certainly welcome to join us. Oh. Let's start by looking back to when the Smurfs were baby Smurfs. They were all just crawling around the village, trying out anything that interested them. Some seemed to know just what they wanted to do. But others weren't quite sure. They all kept trying, and eventually each one found himself. There was one baby Smurf, however, I was most concerned about. But once I figured out what was wrong, that baby Smurf decided what he wanted to do in no time at all. <laughs> Were you ever a baby Papa Smurf? Why, of course I was, Slouchy. <laughs> but this album doesn't go back that far. No, Master. It's perfectly all right to sleep in once in a while. Even for Mother Nature. I was up half the night looking for a poor frightened kitty. I know kitties are your least favorite animal, but Mother Nature has no favorites. I love each and every animal equally. Oh, my magic wands! They're gone! Oh, come, Nesta. We must get Papa Smurf to help. Without my, my magic wand, I'd have to run the whole way. Were you ever a Smurfling, Papa Smurf? Certainly. Did you have a beard when you were a Smurfling, Papa Smurf? Well, uh, no, Snappy. But I was certain I could see the beginnings of a little moustache uh, when the light was right. Smurfaroo! Just like mine! <laughs> <laughs> Papa Smurf, what were the Smurfs like when they were little Smurflings? Well, <laughs> that was the time I shall never forget. It was long before humans came to the forest, but there were still many dangers about, like the evil imp Hotan, who nearly ended all that is Smurf before my first little Smurflings had the chance to grow up. 
they are the ones, Klug. They can be made into gold, eh? Yes, they can be made into gold, according to this ancient formula. Follow them to their secret village, Klug, and circle high above it until the others arrive. Klug, do. little clumsy for tripping. But since he tripped himself, I'm awarding him a free kick. Oh, 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 oh. Smurf. Pardon me, Brainy Smurfling, for pointing out that nowhere in the rules of the game of Smurf Ball by Brainy Smurfling does it say anything about a player tripping himself and being awarded a free kick. Well, my little Brainy, if it's not in the rules, it must be all right. But, Papa Smurf, how can we play Smurf Ball by rules we don't have? Ah, there he is, my goblins. Klug has found the Smurfs' village. You all know what to do. And fly, my goblins, fly! The rules clearly state a free kick can only be awarded. Give us a break, will you, Brainy? This is only practice. <gasps> it is? Why doesn't somebody tell me these things? Take your time, little clumsy. Great Smurfs! Goblins! Oh, run, my little Smurflings! Run into your Smurf houses! Come on! Let go, you evil goblins! Let go, I say! Let go! into precious little gold bars. Please, Hotep, allow me to join my little Smurflings so that I might share their fate. Oh, no, 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 Papa Smurf. Your cleverness and magic powers are well known to me. You will remain here helpless while I complete my plan. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Read softer books. Oh, what am I going to do? They captured every Smurfling and Papa Smurf, too. I am the only Smurf that's safe. Yeah! Oh. How could you know Smurfling? Too heavy, carry book. Book? There he is. Ah, damn. We got last Smurfling. I wonder what made them do that. It's no use. The walls are much too smooth to climb. If only there were some way to... Hmm. I can make it now. Long before I even reached the village, Little Brainy had crossed the canyon to Hotap's lair. But it was built so high up on the canyon wall, even a grown-up Smurf couldn't have reached the lowest entrance. I'd better hide in here and think this over. This is not a good place to hide or think. I'd better keep moving, but quietly. Fortunately, the maze of bat caves led little brainy Smurfling to the Smurf's melting factory in Hotap's castle. Unfortunately, the rest of the Smurflings were there too. How can goblins, the fiercest creatures in the air, be scared silly by furry little bats? It's no fun being scared silly. No fun, no fun. Ah, well, so one little Smurfling escaped. Start the machine, Klug. One little Smurfling can't possibly do us any harm. What harm can I do? What harm can I do? 
will be done before dark. Don't worry, Clue. You'll be safely home in your roost long before those scary little batty watties wake up. Hmm. <laughs> I'll fix those nasty goblins. <sighs> Almost to the village. <sighs> but that's only halfway. I knew this book would come in handy. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. Magic wands, hear my words. Cage them all up just like birds. Oh, how dare you! And for my next feat, I'm going to drop everything and eat just one tasty little smurf. Magic wand, make a pot. Add some water, not a lot. Season with parsley and cinnamon powder. Simmer and stir for oh, half an hour. Ooh, I'm going to enjoy this. And the first Smurf I'm going to eat is that loudmouthed little twit with the glasses. He's captured every one of them. Mother Nature, too. We reached bird cages, Brainy. What will we do? We need a plan. Does anyone have one? Flutterby. Uh -huh. I see. Flutterby has a plan. You expect us to use a plan suggested by a butterfly? It's Papa Smurf's plan. And it all depends on you making a special backward spell in Papa Smurf's lab. It ought to be just about ready. <sighs> just right. And now for the main ingredient. Careful, you Smurflings. Careful. I told you you didn't know how to be quiet. Shh. 
All right, Papa Smurf. Where is that little blue blabbermouth? Magic wands, do backwards be. Wish on him what he wishes on me. He can't hide from my magic wands. Magic wands, here's a thought. Put that blabber smurf in my pot. Yo! He dropped the wands. Come on, you smurflings. Yo! <laughs> well done, my little smurflings. We couldn't have done that without Brainy, Papa Smurf. Welcome back, my magic wand. Make this magic cage be gone. Yeah! Where is Brainy anyway? I want to thank him. Think nothing of it, Papa Smurf. It was my pleasure. Oh. <laughs> Smurf a real Brainy. We're sorry we let go of your rope. Nothing you can say will ever make me forgive you. We'll take you cookie smurfing with us next week. Yeah, you won't even have to be quiet. Cookie smurfing? <laughs> well, maybe we can work something out after all. Another time. Get up, fly. Get you, fly. Barrel roll, fly. I smell snow in the air, and Cracker Smurf's nose is never wrong. <laughs> yes, Chippy. It looks like a bad one. I'd better warn the others. Ta! Say, hefty. Can't talk now, Tucker. We're gonna play ball. Here, catch! <laughs> oh boy, what a smurfy day for a picnic. Greedy, lazy. Wait a moment. Can't now, Tracker. <laughs> Painter, there's a big storm that. Ah, Tracker, the perfect day for painting the autumn leaves. Leave these. A terrible blizzard is coming. What's that about a blizzard, Tracker? Uh, Papa Smurf, my nose never fails, and I smurf a blizzard coming our way. Hmm. Well, you may be right. I'd better consult my almanac. Hello, Taylor. Could you smurf me up a nice coat with these scraps of fur? These? These are like an ugly coat. Oh, no matter. I'm preparing for the blizzard. Blizzard? Are you crazy? I'll pick it up tonight. Da! A blizzard, he says. I tell you, this village is full of nuts. In the year of Southern Smurf? Hmm. Tracker is right. There will be an early snowfall. <laughs> Fellow Smurfs, Papa Smurf says that winter will arrive early this year and that we must start preparing immediately. Furthermore... Well, it sure doesn't look like winter to me. I hate winter chores. It's too hot to work. Let's go for a swim. Hey, good idea. We can smurf this con later. But Papa Smurf says we must smurf our winter chores, and... Does that look like a winter sky to you, Brainy? Actually, now that you mention it, no. It's kind of an azure sky with a few high clouds. A bright sun that... Hey, wait for me! La, 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 la. Oh, I'm so hot. Smurfs, we've got to get ready for the blizzard. Ooh, 
a tracker. <laughs> Where did you get that dumb fur coat? What is that tracker? A fleet farm? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh if you wish, fellow Smurfs. But tomorrow it shall snow. Tracker was right. Winter is early. I hope all my little Smurfs have prepared. <laughs> Oh, my brilliant mind is freezing. I hate the freezing. Gee, this much snow is scary. Onward! Ah! Tell it all with all that rubbish. Did some Smurf say rubbish? Ah! Onward, onward! Jolly good morning, hello Smurfs. I hate skiers. Boy, I sure hope Andy's home so I can smurf some more firewood. Yo, it's my fellow. Oh, that tracker makes me mad. Oh, Papa Smurf, which is so cold. No, no, freezing thinking is more like it. I don't suppose anyone would be interested in an ode to c c cold. Heavens to smurf the Troy. I'm so c cold, I'm turning blue. But you are blue, Vanity. Oh, isn't the winter store of firewood keeping you all warm? Well, uh, we ran out, Papa Smurf. Ran out? All the winter chores have been done, haven't they, my little Smurfs? Well, uh, no, Papa Smurf. We didn't finish them. I overslept. It was uh, such a sunny day. We went on a picnic. Yeah, I went on Silence! Come in, come in. I want to know how many chores were done. Surprise tracker! <laughs> well, thank you, Jokey. Oh dear! Hey, come back with my coat. <laughs> th th that's not funny, Jokey. <laughs> Hello, Scary. Have you seen Jokey? Uh-uh. Sorry. <laughs> with Tracker's coat. Tracker's coat? But I... Papa Smurf always says to share and share alike. So you'd better give me that fur coat because Papa Smurf says... Oh, no, you don't, Brainy. Let go, Hefty. I saw it first. I would look fantastic in it. Sniffle is nothing a bit of Smurf routine, can't you? Huh? Smurf is me. This is all there is? Brainy, did you Smurf a fresh supply from the forest like I asked? Uh, uh, uh me, Papa Smurf? <coughs> I was busy, so I asked Lazy to do it. And I was busy sleeping, so I asked Hefty. That was your job, not mine! Oh, oh, silence! Now, because of your carelessness, we're all liable to catch Smurfmonia, unless we get some more Smurf root. Hello! Tracker, we need your help. The Smurfs are all sick, and I'm out of Smurf root. Why, I'd be delighted, Papa Smurf. Except that certain unsmurfable Smurfs have ruined my coat. Hmm. Well, you'll need it to go out in this cold. <laughs> Smurf? But, Papa Smurf, I'm already cold. It isn't fair, and you always said that... Quiet, Brainy! Oh, no! Now my toes will freeze. So what are you waiting for? Next. <laughs> this is a good coat you made, Taylor. So what do you expect? I know my business. They're all counting on you to find more Smurf root, Tracker. Every Smurf has Smurfmonia now, except you and... I, 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 
me. Not to worry, Papa Smith. I shan't fail. Smurfroot. Smurfroot, I know you're about. Aha! We, we must find food soon, Azriel. Aha! Watch this. Hmm, methinks we're on the trail of something succulent, Azriel. Aha! Smurfroot mission accomplished. Hello. Uh, goodbye. Get him, Azriel, get him! Ah, I see him, Azriel! No, 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 I'll get him, Azriel! He got you, you wretched little smurf! <laughs> my, my! He's a feisty little fellow, but he's hardly a match for... <laughs> Return sooner. We won't need any tea. I have something we can burn, Papa Smurf. It's my most favorite garbage. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Miss Hoppy, but uh... wood chips, bark, twigs, leaves, dust, dirt, fish bones, and a few old ratchets and widgets and you guys. <laughs> Thoughtful, Sloppy. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, Papa Smurf. Tally ho and all that rot. Did some Smurf say rot? Hello. Here's the Smurf fruit. <laughs> yeah! It's going to be a hot one today, fellow Smurfs. any rocks for your collection yet? Not yet, Papa Smurf. <clears throat> Say, here's one. <laughs> Look, isn't it Smurfy? <laughs> oh, well, I... Why, that must be Mother Nature. Papa Smurf. Oh, gosh, what are you doing? Giving the trees their new fall fashions. Admired your work. Why, <laughs> thank you. I do my best. Of course, I have made my share of mistakes. Like that squirrel. He looks quite bright eyed and curly tailed. Too curly tailed. That look is definitely out this year. Oh dear. You'll excuse me, but I must find that squirrel. Good luck, Mother Nature. Squirrels have no sense of style. All they think about is nuts, nuts, nuts. Ah, now I have him. Aye. Oh, I must remember to make these trees stronger. Ow! Oh, there goes my back again. And with half the forest still to do. Oh, I've got to get some help. Good morning, Mother Bullfrog. Fine looking family you've got there. Ah! <laughs> 
suppose that Nat could fill in for me, do you? Me? You seem to have a gift for my line of work. What do you say, Nat? Smurf a rule. It'd be an honor. Some Smurfs have all about luck. Now, here's the scroll with today's assignments. And here is the wand of creation. It's very powerful, so use it with care. I'll do a great job, Mother Nature. You wait and see. Remember, just do what's on the list and everything will be... Ooh! It's a heating pad. It'll relax your muscles. Funny, I don't feel relaxed. What you, what you got? What are you guys doing here? We thought you might need some help. Yeah, Smurf, we can Smurf together. Well, okay, but you guys better behave. Oh, Flutter and Fireflies, you can trust us. to change some of these cocoons into butterflies. Here goes. Fluffy. Let me try. Ma! 
This is terrible. Can we panic now, Papa Smurf? That strange fog has ruined every edible thing in the forest. Mother Nature should be told about this at once. I already know, Papa Smurf. I caused it accidentally with a bad wand. <gasps> but everything will grow back, right, Mother Nature? Oh, of course. Thanks, ah. In the spring. Oh. We're gonna starve! We're all gonna starve! Oh, oh, I can't believe it! Me cut down in the prime of my smurfiness! Smurferoo! The animals! They're hungry, too! Oh, my poor children! I really let you down this time! There, there! We'll all make do with what we have and try to make it until spring! Yes, Uncle Smurf! Okay, Abby Smurf, come and smurf it. Dinner is served. You call this dinner? It's all we have left, Granny. I'll take Greedy's dinner. He must be too weak to come outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These muffins are getting some smurfing the greatest. Greedy! Oh, Greedy! Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Just some dinner, so you wouldn't be so hungry. Ah! Greedy Smurf, I'm ashamed of you! So, Greedy, you had a secret supply of food for yourself while the rest of us went hungry. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, Greedy, how could you be so, so, so greedy? Well, I, I guess it just comes naturally. Here, you can share this. I've already had plenty. Plenty? Plenty. That's it, Greedy. The land of plenty. Land of plenty? Corgi, I'm so hungry I could eat anything, even Smurfs. Yes, Smurfs. Out of the way, you overfed feline. Got to keep up my strength. Then we'll go out and find those little blue butterballs. So when I was a young Smurfling, I heard tales about a land of plenty beyond the hidden hills, where a magic horn provided endless food for all who lived there. Huh? I don't believe it! <laughs> Things are looking up, Azriel. <laughs> I sense a delicious change in the weather. This is it! The hidden hills! <gasps> oh, Papa Smurf, it's so green. It must be the land of plenty. <sighs> oh, Gargi, this is gonna kill me. Quiet! If that bird made it over these hills, then you can too, bird brain. There'd be more food than I've ever smurfed. I wonder if it tastes as good as it looks. Greedy, control yourself. Oh, what was that? Apples! The horn of plenty provides! Smurfs are alive. That'd be the shortest growing season I ever smurfed. More like a blowing season. It's the horn of plenty. the Smurfs, and we need your help. We would like to borrow your Horn of Plenty to feed ourselves and our animal friends. There is a great famine in our forest. Your forest? Are you from the outside world? We plentiful share with no one. Now be gone! But Father, if these Smurfs are hungry, why don't we give them some food? Ampo, my thumb, don't interrupt me when I'm being imperious. Yes, Father. Gorky, look at all the great stuff to eat. I'm looking, I'm looking. A big blue banquet. No sharing, that's final. Now go back where you came from. Boy, is he greedy. Takes one to know one. Come here, you little blue bonbons. <laughs> Run, my little Smurfs. Ooh, I just can't wait to get you home. <laughs> From a famine to a feast. <laughs> Father, who is that strange-looking fellow? I don't know, but I want him out of here. 
Outsiders. I'll take that. Stop him! He's got the horn! Stop him! <laughs> hey, Gargi! Gargi! Wait for me! <sighs> Sorry, Great Plentiful. We're in no shape for running. Oh, without our horn of plenty, we'll starve. What do we do? What do we do? My little Smurfs, we must get that horde of plenty away from Gargamel. Wait, I'm going to. You can't come with us. I brought some food. As I was saying, welcome aboard. But, but Gargi, we can have an endless supply of everything edible. Who cares? My plan will give me an endless supply of Smurfs. Now blow! Smurf Betty's! Think that'll be enough, Gargi? <laughs> if those starving Smurfs want Smurf Betty's, they'll know just where to come. <laughs> Great balls of Smurf! I'm smelling something good. Mm, not good. Great! Oh, it's simmering Smurf berries! Oh, and it's coming from Gargamel's! I can't stand it! Quick, Sanders, dive! Dive! Greedy, don't! It's a trap! Smurf fairies! I need Smurf fairies! Ugh. Greedy, keep away from there! <laughs> but I'm so hungry, Papa Smurf! Me? Sickening smell! Whoa. 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 <laughs> There's nothing like Smurfs do with fresh vegetables. Scruple, start blowing! Carrots! No, perfect, perfect! Celery! Onions! What's going on, Greedy? My friends are in hot water! We gotta Smurf help from the village, fast! Is it much farther? Don't worry, Imp. These animals are our friends. At least when they're not hungry. Run! <gasps> Greedy, I'll never make it. You have to. Come on, Imp. Oh, no. We're right back where we started. Oh, and Gargamel's Smurf stew smells like it's almost ready. Well, it's been nice knowing you, Greedy. I think they smell something better than us, Ample. Right this way, French stew, ten a hand. Mmm, mm, simmering smurfs. This was worth waiting all winter for. Yikes! Wow! Good work, Greedy. Yeah, we have to get those crashing boards. Nice going, Gargi. We could have been eating high off the hog instead of them eating off us. Yeah. Oh, I hate Smurfs. I hate them. I hate them. And last but not least, the rabbits. Let it blow, Harmony. Carrots. Is right on key. But you're sharing the horn with the other forest creatures. My father would never do that. Sharing is the Smurfy way, right, Papa Smurf? <laughs> I think you've learned something after all, Greedy. So, we shared our food with all the hungry forest creatures, Father. You should have seen their happy faces. Hmm. Maybe we plentiful should all try to discover the joy of sharing. Great idea! All right, Harmony. How about sharing some Smurf berries? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, it sure is pretty out here. Yeah, a walk in the woods 
makes me feel a hundred years younger. Hey, Grandpa, what are these funny lines? Why, those are tree rings, Slouchy. Each ring stands for a year in the life of a tree. It's not for real, Grandpa. This tree might even be older than you. <laughs> not quite, Matt. But look here. This ring was formed when Papa Smurf was about your age. Mama, who? Smurfs! What unbelievable luck! That remains to be seen. Shush! Follow me. Boy, oh, Smurf, Grandpa. This tree has sure lived through a lot. Yes, sir, e Smurf. Just think of what our own Great Oak could tell us if he could only talk. Right now, I think he'd say you're in big trouble. <laughs> this way, Smurflings. Now I've got you. <laughs> Terrific! Hurry! Well, that was a lot of fun. Blast those blue branch hoppers! Although something that old Smurf said was quite intriguing. If the Great Oak could talk, it could tell me where the Smurf village is. How are you gonna get a tree to talk? I have my way. <laughs> I'm sorry to Smurf you to so much trouble, Mother Nature, but I want to be sure those baby eagles are healthy. Oh, it's no trouble at all, Papa Smurf. I've been wanting to visit the mountains for some time. I thought they'd never leave. <laughs> the special ingredient I need is but steps away. Gee, look at all these jars. This green glowing one is what we're seeking. See? Plant power powder. Once I've mixed this into my formula, the great oak will become a great big blabbermouth. <laughs> oh my, what a spectacular sunrise. <laughs> yeah, it's sure a great day to be outdoors. Why don't you come with me, Clumsy? You can help me collect pine needles for my flower arrangements. Gee, that'd be Smurfy. Smurf a real Nat. Want to help us hang the new swing? I can't. I'm going with Grandpa to pick acorns for Greedy's acorn salad. Grandpa, wait for me. Smurf a Rudy, what's that? Uh, my, my automatic acorn picker. It'll make the job much easier. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> now to get this oak to open up. Oh, where am I? Gee, it works. Yes, yes. Don't just stand there, you overgrown acorn. Tell me where I can find the Smurfs. I, I, I don't know. Hey, I'm talking. How can this be? I made you talk, so talk! Where's their village? I, I really don't know. They, they visit me, I don't visit them. <laughs> I came prepared for an obstinate oak. Now, tell me what I want to know. How dare you threaten me? Watch it or I'll chop you into toothpicks. Why, you wicked human! When I get my limbs on you... Yes! Let's get out of here! Come back, you, you! Hey, I can move! I can dance! I, I'm free! I'm free! Looks like you barked up the wrong tree, Gorgie! One of these miserable trees must know where the Smurfs are! I'll find out which if I have to spray the entire forest! We're almost there, Grandpa! Yes, the Great Oak should have plenty of acorns this time of year. Hey, can you slow down a little? Uh. Grandpa, come quick. Look, the Great Oak is gone. Great Smurfs. They couldn't have just smurfed up and walked away. Well, I've never seen animal tracks like these. We better find out where they lead. Faster, Scruple, faster! I'm pedaling as fast as I can! Well, don't slow down! I want to blanket every inch of the forest with my formula. Here's some more needles, Clumsy. I got it, Smurfette! I got it! Hmm, these needles really aren't that pretty. Uh, maybe we should find another tree. Well, of all the nerve, you spend the whole morning pulling off my needles and now they're not good enough for you. Huh? Get 
off me. Yay! <laughs> Guys, Smurfette, what's going on? Out of my sight, you ungrateful creatures. Quick, back to the village. Smurfaroo, the swing is great. Come on, Snappy, it's our turn to try it. Gee, what's that green stuff? Hey, who's in my branches? Chatter and woodchucks, the tree has a face. Get out of my hair. Yay! Hey, look what you did to our tree house. You heard what I said. One temperamental tree. A me 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 a me me. Smurf a doodle. It's the great oak. Ah, oh, the Smurfs. Gee, he can talk. But how? A human gave me these powers. What human? A nasty man who was looking for you. <gasps> Got him. I'm glad you're here. I was looking for some traveling companions. Please, Mr. Oak, you must go back to your place in the forest. That's right. Every living thing has its proper home. But I love being free to go where I please. Almost as much as I love the sound of my own voice. A me 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 How wonderful! You all have voices! Pull up your roots, my friends, and spread the word! We've got places to go and things to see! Follow me! This is terrible! We've got to get back to the village and tell the others! Oh, my Smurfs! I can't believe it! All the trees are leaving! Oh, life without trees is kind of beyond bearable! <laughs> There, there, Smurfette. I'll be happy to put you out of your misery. <laughs> this worked out better than I planned. Without the trees, you have no place to hide. <laughs> oh, my Smurfs. What I wouldn't give for some shade. Hey, Grandpa, someone's coming. Quick, Bobby, behind that rock. <laughs> How do you think I should prepare them, Scruple? Charbroiled? Fricasseed? Ah, ah! How about new shoe Smurf? <laughs> well, oh no! What are we gonna do? We must find the Great Oak. He's our only hope. Dear, oh dear! My roots are killing me. Oh, mine do. Can't we rest a while? All right, Willow. Quit your weeping. I guess I could use a break myself. Great Oak, wait up! The Smurfs are in danger! You've got to help us! Why should we? What have you ever done for us but pick our pine needles? Eat our fruit! Use our wood! I'm sorry the Smurfs are in trouble, but we trees have our own lives to live. Why, you wouldn't have any life at all if it wasn't for me. What do you mean? I was the Smurf who planted the acorn, which grew into you, you big log. You? I, I had no idea. He's not the only seed I smurfed and took care of. Oh! <laughs> we Smurfs have always been your friends, and now we need your help more than ever. Yes, but but what can we do? Ye gods, you dunderhead! What have you done? That was my favorite chair! Well, you told me to build a fire to cook the Smurfs. And without trees, there's no firewood. Uh, well, I, I guess it's a small price to pay for the meal of the century. <laughs> now, who should be my hors d'oeuvre? Hmm, that baby looks appetizing. <laughs> Gargamel! Uh, who's that? Uh-oh, you don't want to know. <gasps> We've got you surrounded. Set the Smurfs free at once. Quick, lock the shutters! No, no, no! Yeah! 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 Hooray for the trees! You saved us! Dear me, I'm afraid all this excitement has left me quite weak. None of 
nervous, feels too sturdy right now. It's not the excitement, my friends. With your roots out of the soil, you're losing nourishment. Unless you return to the forest, you're doomed. <laughs> and so you see, though the trees have come back, they're too weak to replant their roots into the ground. It's a good thing you came and got us, Grandpa. Yes, my poor, poor trees are starving. I'll have to change them back the way they were. Does this mean we'll lose our voices? I'm afraid it's the only way. Oh. Oh. You were right, Grandpa. This is my home here in the soil. Come and visit me often, little Smurfs. Even if I can't speak, I love having you around. I'm sort of sorry to see him go, but it's good to have our forest back. All I can say is the trees should be very grateful to have friends like the Smurfs, particularly one like me with such extraordinary intelligence. Hey, who threw those acorns? <laughs> I wonder. <clears throat> it all began. Come in. Papa Smurf, is it all right if I have a few friends over to spend the night? Why, certainly not. Have you met everyone, Papa Smurf? <laughs> this is definitely one for my book. <laughs> it all began. What you doing, Papi? Says it. That's Papa Smurf. And how many times have I told you to knock before you enter? Smurf. Oh, come in. What you doing, Papa Smurf? I'm trying to write. What you writing? <laughs> well, it's the story of my life. It's about... Oh, Smurferoo! Hey, everybody! Papi's writing the story of his life! The, the story, story of, of your life. life! Need any help? Need any good jokes? I hate good jokes! Am I in your book, Papa Smurf? <laughs> going to miss you too, my little Smurfs, but I'll get more work done at the seashore. We'll take care of things while you're gone. Yeah, don't worry. Goodbye, my little Smurfs. Goodbye, Goodbye my little Smurfs. All right, Smurfs. As you probably don't want to remember, Papa Smurf left me in charge of Village Upkeep, and I'm declaring this Cleanup Week. Cleanup Week? <laughs> Let's start smurfing those mops and buckets now, now, now. <laughs> I uh, just wanted to say goodbye, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Smurfette, <clears throat> I, I'm in my uh, house. Amazing. 
It's simply amazing. Papa Smurf, where are you? Here I am, my little Smurfs. If you could talk, little one, you'd have some explaining to do. <laughs> You'll be talking soon enough. Oh, oh, Father Smurf, baby's with you. Oh, 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 yeah, it was cold last night. Yes, I know. But baby was safe and warm in my uh, <laughs> little beach house. Beach house? <laughs> <laughs> well, baby, so much for peace and quiet. We're all going to look for the others, Brainy. You and the Smurfling stay here in case they come back. This is beginning to get ridiculous. My dear little Smurfs, I am very sorry, but I must get away to write my book. Baby is with me. Enjoy the peach house. Love, Papa Smurf. <sighs> well, this will have to do. I'm going to gather plenty of firewood. <laughs> Baby, there will be no need for a magic beach house tonight. <laughs> oh, little Smurf. Where are you? Don't play tricks on Brainy. I don't believe I lost a whole village. Oh, little Smurflings, yoo-hoo! He'll have us cleaning the village if he finds us. We'll be much little more Smurflings. useful looking for Baby. Come on, let's get Smurfing. Yoo-hoo, little Smurflings! <laughs> it's a Bubba monster! Stay away from that baby! No, wait! Stop! Put that baby down, you monster! Please, please, bring our baby back! How can I follow them? Uh, maybe the Smurfs can... Uh, no, I need a ship. The Smurf, too. I must get to the village. <sighs> what do you mean there's no one here? First, one group went searching for baby, then another group went searching for the searchers, and... All right, all right! We can't sail without a crew. Feathers will have to do the job. Job? What job? Just Smurf aboard, Brainy. Exactly where are we going, Papa Smurf? We're going to the Sandwich Islands, home of the Bubba Monster. I had to ask. <laughs> what have you brought me this time, Bubba? I'll just have to discard it like the rest of... <laughs> You kissed me! You kissed me! Don't you know sandwiches are the most unlovable creatures in the world? No one in their right mind would ever kiss a sandwich. I don't. Oh, 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 Baba! I believe this little creature actually likes me! <laughs> there they are, the Sandwich Islands. <laughs> Oh, dear. I'm not used to all this laughing and smiling. <laughs> Ouch! It hurts my face. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> you are a treasure. I think I'll call you Sandy. Who could that be? Nobody ever comes here if they can help it. <gasps> oh, it must be the little baby's family. Oh, my. Quickly, Bubba. Take my baby where they'll never find it. Hello. Anybody home? Home. Go away! We mean you no harm. I'm not so sure about that, Papa Smurf. Yeah. We've come in search of Baby Smurf. Baby looks like us, only smaller, cuter. I've seen no such creature. Now, Staff, you're traveling all over my pretty sand. <laughs> you wouldn't lie to us, now, would you? Come on, Brainy, feathers. No, no, uh, that's just Bubba. You, you, you've got to believe me. You've got to believe me. Swim, Bubba, swim into the bog. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. But perhaps we can turn it into one. Hang on, Brainy. Whoa! B -b 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 that's it, Feathers. Even a Bubba monster is ticklish. Come on, Bubba. Wouldn't a nice big laugh feel smurfy? <laughs> Nice catch, Papa Smurf. Mother of sandwiches, lend me a hand. Turn those two things into two things of sand. Don't cry, baby. You don't need them anymore. Oh, I can't stand all this blubbering. You're lucky to have someone who loves you so much, Papa 
poor Smurf. Do you see? Before baby came, no one ever loved me. I wouldn't say that. It is obvious to me your Bubba loves you very much. Bubba, 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 Bubba. Why, I, I suppose you're right. <laughs> if you didn't love me, you wouldn't have spent all those years bringing me useless gifts. <laughs> Aw, forgive me, my little Bubba. Bubba, Bubba. Well, maybe not little. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home! Papa Smurf! Can we build sand castles, Pappy? Think we can stay a few more days? Oh. Well, all I can say is, I'll think about it. Oh, Papa Smurf, what about the story of your life? <laughs> well, after all we've been through, I've decided that for now, instead of writing about my life, I'm just going to enjoy living it. Last one in the ocean is a bearded Smurf! <laughs> Clean up the other village. Huh? Huh? <laughs> well, it's not gonna be me. Whoopee! <laughs> 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 <laughs>